so after umfunzu skit uh, in national anthem skala ngayo pam goba umfundisi angene and it is a thing. A styling of Tandas, a styling of national anthem. Uh, and after that, see a regular item you call. We have never been out here and photo a cool name. Change the uniform. Pelele. The yellow boys all on the uniform. Welcome, uh, everybody. Uh, it it looks like Nogo uh, Sangakala. So I tell them from the Suzapa and Pamil Quenzel, but Unge Zingala Clash and Funangalo and Jenga Ray Pay, a pie, Buffalo City. Um, from this, I'm aware do I rate pay as a pa? Who minister of finance rate pay as a Buffalo City? No premier of the province, right there as a Buffalo City. Um, <laughs> um, yes, I can do about mayor. Um, Sazau Kalange National Anthem, please get ready, it's pre recorded. Um, they ask a comment to the Tandung Mabumas in. My daughter, please, I could me was class men and yaw. Cause our car national anthem. Can we all stand up? Oh, Minister of Finance, I could have was work. No, Minister, I could have been a pang as I'm vowed. Over to you. Mr. Cocter. Kaku Tulwai National Anthem. Kaku Tulwai National Anthem. Ujo Ujonga with national flag. A Metwa Kwa Jonga with national flag. Uh, Fund this over to you. Lisa Lisa Tingala Kutiko Gose Yinya Nisu Zungi Tanga Zungi Zizwi 
Thank you very much. May we all get seated. My greetings to the program director, the chairperson and PC of Salga, our minister, Kotongwana, our premier, MEC, the mayors of the leadership, Komas Palabe Tubonge, Kuel Pondo, stakeholders has invited up. Allow me this morning to greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Before I pray, I would like to read a scripture from the book of Daniel, chapter 3. I will only read verse 17. And it turned to Portlaga Gaprimi and again a Portlaga when you come in. You know, when we are in the church, Kubako, a moment, Apo when the elite program direct, where you say, Mahamend and Tingeleni, Imoto. Then they responded to say, I am Fundi Sambos Tengela. In the book of Daniel, chapter 3, verse 17. Ukwamazwi atipaya. Ukuba utiko wetu. Unako. Wasi sindis. If our God can, he will save us. Di bege lilizwi ndi chongi zindwe zenze gayo. Not only in our province, but nationally. The killings of our councillors. Abanye besuele kakabshungu, kungazwa no baba bulewe intoni. Abanye besuele kapamgwe zintu zaabo. That led me to read verse 17, Glenn Watka Daniel. There are three guys as the pipeline, as the Zwangum Duonge, even at an early age. Ushedregi, umishegi, no apetneko. These three guys, Kaben Jongi, character yazo. Ba, 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 pendula, the leader, yelizwe. And they speak against him. The guy I go to and we never got who was very cruel. We never got nezare. When za is chico is thirty meters high, and he requested everyone in the nation that he will bow down. Where's the statue? Matthew Henry, who was in the city. They went to him and engaged him. That, Kumkan, we are not going to bow down to your God, but we will stand for Rinyanis. Abafana, Wabatat, Lama Gama, Bawa Niki Weyo, Yangango Magama Abo, Agogwab, Yangama Gama, Asek Tinjuin. Zintatu is zindo, as I'm sitting down. As zenzwa kubo. Kabe fika, we exile. Amanda bakeba yel patwa, you change your name. 
Ungabizwa del kamu busuga ngaloko kwenu. Kwachenjwa amagama abo. Yesibini into abayenziwayo. They change their diet. But kule start to change the religion. They said no, Nebuchadnezzar. We are not going to bow down. And Nebuchadnezzar, it is then apo ati magwenzi we dike lomli. Abafana abatat. When you look at the character yabo, as I find is a minister, not Steve Biko. As I find is a not Griffith Mkenge. As I find is a not Christian. Emma. But you can take us even to a little end. But as it's too cheap. Come here, Tatwa. It's a problem. I'm zange bache. Into your chayo. Zezin tambo. Babe boche lelo ngazo. Okubu tika we tunago. He can save us even in this situation. Yalanda to David. Gwindumiso chapter 11 verse 3. If the foundations be destroyed. What the righteous can do. Mas bambelele, mas bambelele leadership. Sinende to tiko, ubu nako, nagle ineko siku yongoku. Wasi sinisa, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Ibanzaliti, amen. Let us pray. Our gracious God, we come before you this morning. We are gathered here today in this fashion. We thank you, O oh Lord, for the traveling masses. We have traveled from many various different areas and some from out of our province. But through your grace, we managed to get into this event. We thank you, Father, that you have given us the time to read your scripture and to get a message that at your convenient time, you will intervene in the situation that we found ourselves in. Your son came to us in humility as our savior. He's transforming our everyday lives through the leadership. Make them worthy in this calling to serve the world. You must always avail these platforms so that our municipalities come together and reason. You have said that in your word, what is Zanisake? Tikolung Leo. Write your law of love on their hearts through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you, so that in the end the leadership we have elected can succeed and take us through so that we build the Eastern Cape we want. We always remember our leadership of Salga, our premier, the ministers and the MECs, and all those who are entrusted with the stewardship of leading in our municipalities. You must avail yourself every time we ask, Father, these things in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I will request the team to play the presentation.
si imenge nyawu njalo si light ikhandlela labo Amen. 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 Thank you very much, uh, Program Director, Deputy Chair of Salga. Greetings to Umfundisi, Bishop Skit, Honorable Premier, Dr. Oscar Mabuyani. Honorable Minister, Tatao Kotongwana, MEC Kokta, Tatu Williams, Tata, Ngoz Patuwe Tatu Kwadiso, Acting CEO, our President of Salga, Chairperson of Salga in the Eastern Cape, all Troikas, all administrative, administrative arm, in this gathering, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. good morning. My task is just to say all municipalities were requested to give us names of the deceased. Not all of them were flighted because not all municipalities responded. Hence, the few councillors, we know we've got many that have departed due to the carelessness and negligence of our municipality leadership, they didn't respond to the call. As I'll be having some few words on the candlelight of our departed loved councillors, Bishop Skid will do the general prayer so that the devil can go away. We know devil is targeted, is targeting each one of us. So Bishop will do that. We live in a world where human rights are violated. We live in a world where elderly are being forgotten. We live in a world where children make friends through social networks due to our negligence as parents. It is in this context, ladies and gentlemen, that we need to understand our role as leadership in the society. We need to have a bigger picture of the suffering of our people. If not just physical illness that troubles people, more often it is because of the sadness it is because of the feeling that some of us are deserted, some of us are hurt by each other, and our families mostly hurt. So first of all, we need to realize that there's darkness out there, and we are called to shine our little lights in that darkness. Hence the commemoration of our loved counselors, we call upon all of us to be in unity, to work together for the betterment of our people. Thank you very much. Let me give the bishop to have a general prayer for each of us. Thank you very much. See, Bas bone nge pa kwa banye babo tito sebe figa pa mwe trone yo babalo lwako. Mas iti zinda ba tetla bezenza pes kom shaba zak pa zamsa wena. Uz lache kwi tribi lako lo glibala. Si tezo kwa bete ba zenza ngoze zak polisu chile zona ngogo. Goze ngoze lung leyo ba shale nyuebeni. Bebe nyulwe nga bantu guze ba kokele. Tito lung leyo, ifemeli zabo za shega nge mvazib shungu. Kota wena u tito shalu ne tamsanga, kalolongi kresha. Sigelela gemzali, namba basa pilayo, basigelele. 
uba kusele tito lungleyo nga kumbi kwe klasha sipeka kulu ngoku. Elona lowo nkosi kwinda wamba guyo. Mangenelele wena. Exposa ke tito lungleyo benzi bobu ubi nga lo longi klesh. Manga siti ili kutibise kribilin. Songe ba wendo sitela kwe siyazi ya kusenzele. Kwe Yesu Christi ngosi yetu. Amen. Mandbulele. E kameni le nsangano. E, we are going to call people about the Ostrazela and give evacuation procedures now in case when the window inside here. Uh, as they are coming in front, um, to the front, <coughs> In the house, we have the president of Salga, uh, on, over above the minister, the premier, the MEC. We have the president of Salga leading a delegation of a number of peace NEC members uh, in the house. And for the NEC members, um, among us, we have um, member Sotashe, member Maluka, member Janda, member Ngubane. I'm not sure if Tibabone uh, Bonga Kodwa, we recognize those uh, NEC members who are inside here. Are you come, come, in, come in front, sir? To Igan Jbage. I recognize uh, oh, Mr. Joel, I recognize Anga, NEC. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, over to you, sir. Good morning, Sonny Bonani, Mulweni Nonke. A very warm welcome for, uh, from us at the Walker Sun. Welcome to the Amadiba Room. My name is Steve Elliott. I'm the uh, Security and Risk Manager. I just want to take you through a quick briefing. This is for your safety and well-being. Uh, there is no scheduled testing of our evacuation system this morning. So should you hear the sirens going off and lights going off, we would ki kindly like you to evacuate. The way we would like you to evacuate is to use the doors to your left-hand side, the two doors over here. We would like you to immediately turn left. There is signage and marshals will be there to direct you, you to the two designated assembly points. First one is immediately out to your left and straight out to the back doors. For those who are using the pre-assembly rooms, which are a little bit up the stairs, we'd like you to evacuate out through the, through the glass doors onto the, uh, the grass area. Just to uh, put you at peace, we have uh, some very, very capable staff members over here. They're very, very clearly identifiable. These are our station officers. Uh, here's Winnie over here who's on duty. Winnie's awesome. We love her. She's great at what she does. She's supported with two paramedics. We do have an on-site clinic as well where we can uh, facilitate all sorts of uh, incidents and manage it from here. As I mentioned, in the event of an evacuation, uh, the way to stay alive is to make sure that you can run faster than the person that's in front of you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm totally joking. Please, if you have to evacuate, we would ask the ladies just to take off your high heel shoes so you could move quickly, but please do not run. Um, the nearest restrooms for your convenience are also out on the left-hand side as you walk out of these doors on your left-hand side. Um, if there is any issues, please don't hesitate to contact any of us. There, are, there is security, there is my, my, uh, my security team, my medical team, they are on standby, they will be around. Please do not hesitate to, to contact them and we will assist you in any way, uh, any way that, that's necessary. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Please enjoy the, the rest of the conference and good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 
Uh, thank you very much, uh, Menir. Uh, we are going to catch up. Uh, I think we have uh, we lost about 30 minutes, so we'll pay it back at the end of the program. Shall we welcome uh, to the podium, Mr. Mtlelembana, to welcome all of us here? Over to you, sir. Program director, Mandibulis, uh, good premier, was a Eastern Cape. Um, Patiswa, where's the Mali nationally? MSC, our court, President with Salga, with other NEC members who are present here. Sesla Lofago, Casalga, Eastern Cape, fellow mayors, speakers, whips, and councillors, if there are other councillors except those who are mayors and whips, distinguished guests, delegates, and officials. My task today is simple, and I don't plan to waste your precious time executing it. I've been discharged with welcoming you all to our friendly district. As we welcome you to the provincial members' assembly, while other provinces have already held their assemblies. Without a doubt, the challenges faced by our municipalities, districts, metros, and local municipalities are no different to other provinces. The global economic decline owing to the post-COVID-19 pandemic and Russia-Ukraine war affects us all. I am comfortable that the deliberation on those provincial assemblies were not far from the realities we all face as municipalities. However, as Eastern Cape, we have district characteristics and challenges due to our rural nature. When rural masses continue to expect more from us as leaders and we dare not disappoint them. This expectation was expressed by Tatu President Ramaphosa in Eastern East London during the Salga Council of Mayors in September. He made a clear, a clear call to all mayors to be game changers amid the growing challenges faced by the municipalities in the delivery of mass needed services. He called upon all of us to rise to the challenge of changing the narrative regarding the image of local government. He said that there was a dire need for leaders to seek to change the, the narrative and the lead the municipalities that demonstrate high level, levels of accountability. He reiterated that accountability and good governance should be the hallmark of restoring the credibility of our municipalities. I am confident that the environment and the hospitality offered by our district will warm enough to allow you all to deliberate towards those marching orders over the next few days. Our district share a rich heritage of being home to, to home to many great freedom fighters that brought us the freedom we enjoy today. This local municipality called Winema Tigzela Mandela hosting you all is a home and is named after Mamu Winematics and Mala Mandela. Just a few kilometers from this resort is the birth home of Tatu Oar Tambo, who was the longest serving president of the ANC. Not only was the longest serving president, but the leader who led the ANC under very difficult times towards the entertainment of, of, of freedom. The district itself is home to former Secretary General of, a of the ANC, Uteatu Alfred Inzo. 
It is honor of his lifelong work that the district is named after him. As we welcome you delegates to this assembly, we call upon you all over the next few days to draw inspiration from these stalwarts of our struggle. As the, as the district, we are honored to host you all and indeed we feel humbled. We hope that you will find our hospitality as warm as the beauty of our climate. We know our people are Mampondo to be great hosts and hostesses. Our culture in this area is built and deeply rooted on the value of brotherhood and Ubuntu. I can guarantee you all that you will be met and greeted by friendly faces across this area. It is this reception that fuels the growth our tourism and hospitality industry in the area. I hope you all will also witness such warmth and be inspired to return to on leisure trips to explore our district and experience all that our tourism has to offer. From our beaches to our glades and mountains, Alfred Inzo invites you all. Without wasting much of your time, sir, or program director, I wish to welcome you to our district. I call upon you all to make our district your home. I hope that your deliberations will be productive and fruitful as the beauty of the, na of the native land of ours. Kiabule, Ngos. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Sam Kailuangoku. Um, we'll, we'll run with our program so that the uh, speakers invited uh, can get ready. Um, the, the provincial chair of SALGA uh, will come forward. Uh, to address the uh, assembly, as well as setting the scene. Agu kuichuage apa faku. Asu zuguniu sangu kuicho. Asu zuguniu sangu kuicho. And after that, we'll uh, be ready for messages of support. Over to you, sir. Thanks uh, so much, Program Director, uh, Deputy Chairperson of Salga in the province of the Eastern Cape. Thanks so much for the opportunity. Greetings to you. Uh, greetings to the Premier of the province of the Eastern Cape. <coughs> Honorable Mabuyane who is in our midst. And the Minister of Finance. Honorable Kodongwana. Special greetings to the President of Sarka, Councillor Stofile, and members of the National Executive Committee in our midst. Special greetings to Honorable Williams, the MEC for Finance, Provincial Executive Committee members of Sarka. Ingosia Makonjo Ayo, Uslalo Wendli Ngose Pundwin, Udata Ukwemngayel, Koso Chonglanga, Okokele Ngosi, Yal Frenzo District, Ngoso Stau. Special greetings Ngosi, 
o matanze ma o pagati kwetu tiabolesa kuzinamba special greetings to <coughs> all leadership of municipalities present here especially the executive mayor of the Alfred Nzo district and the mayor of uh, Winnie Matikzela Mandela local municipality. Greetings to all councillors present in their various capacities, leaders of administration at Salga, CEO, Mr. Joel, the provincial director of operations, Mr. Kaika, leadership uh, from all our partners in government, departments, and entities, distinguished uh, guests, ladies, and gentlemen. <coughs> Last night when I <coughs> made an, an address, I said, If the feather I can throw my net in my greetings would be to say distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and then I said, if then even that does not touch you, my very profuse apologies. On behalf of the Provincial Executive Committee, it is my distinct honor to officially open this premier event of uh, the local government fraternity in the province. <coughs> we decided as Salga to continue with, our, with the legacy of bringing together under one roof a number of strategically placed leaders in our country to join us as we collectively take stock of our progress towards a truly developmental local government in the province of the Eastern Cape. We wish to let you know that uh, you have been invited because we regard you as uh, our strategic partners in the pursuit of our advocacy work to fight for the interests of the sector. I must emphasize our elation by your presence, uh, Honorable Premier, and the Minister of uh, Finance, MEC, for cooperative governance. We do not take it lightly. We are very excited because it exposes your comprehension of the strategic relationship that exists between us and you in ensuring that we better the lives of the people of South Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, the Constitution of Salga enjoins us to convene PMAs annually. And for the 2022 PMA, we're meeting under the following theme, I quote, <coughs> working cooperatively to recalibrate local government professionalism towards effective service delivery, institutional agility and resilience financial viability, sound, responsive, and, inclu and inclusive uh, governance. I close quote, that's the theme under which we're gathered for this provincial members assembly, whose key elements seek to refocus our attention to the grand vision as articulated in the constitution of the Republic of South Africa, the local government white paper in various relevant legislations. Whilst we have just 
over a day to collectively reflect and take stock. Our choice of this theme seeks to focus our attention to the business of a municipality. The articulation of the form and character of a democratic and developmental municipality requires of us to work harder to create a new and different system of local government, and not just a better one. The inherent demands of this new and different system of local government rest on our shoulders as the leadership. It means we must first fundamentally hate everything that represented the philosophy of apartheid colonialism to the extent that we are relevant for this hard and thoroughgoing transformation trajectory. We must unreservedly be proponents of progressive developmentalism whose agenda is to better the lives of our people. We are certain that you will agree with us that this can only be achieved when those in our administrations and political leadership positions share the same values and therefore do everything to create activist municipal institutions that are resilient and viable enough to deliver the vision for a better life for all. We are also convinced that only when we succeed to create activist municipal institutions, responsive and inclusive governance will be realized. It is our considered view that the growing trust deficit between our municipalities and our people points to an urgent need for the leadership in the sector to do things in a different way. The continuing increase of the number of municipalities in dire financial constraints possibly reflects very badly in terms of leadership choices that we have made and threatens prospects for our generation to deliver a better life for all to our people. We are certain that you'll agree with us that gathered here are the bearers of hope and collective aspiration of our people when it comes to local government transformation. We are therefore the core of leaders whose historical mission must be to accelerate realization of the vision of creating a developmental local government. As we do so, we must remember what President Mandela said in his opening address to Parliament. I quote, each historical period defines the specific challenges of national progress and leadership. And for me personally, I belong to the generation of leaders for whom the achievement of democracy was the defining challenge. I close the quote. We wish to state clearly that if there was once an epoch where visionary and decisive leadership was required for our political South Africa, it is now. Our historical period instructively requires of us to strengthen our democracy, ensure clean administration, grow the economy, and therefore deliver a better life for all of our people. This vision will remain a pipe dream unless all of us commit to mobilize our citizens to join us in our quest to ensure accountability and inclusive governance, effective revenue collection and professionalism of the local government sector. What we are saying above affirms our strong belief in our individual and collective commitment to a South Africa that prospers, to a developmental local government system that correctly entrenches its role as a strategic cog for fundamental transformation. <clears throat> We have indeed been closely monitoring the decaying state of industrial relations in our municipalities. We want to make a clarion call to our leaders gathered here today to package a collective response to all these challenges that have unfortunately engulfed the sector, which I may list as follows. One, continuing disregard for bargaining processes and more often knowingly allowing matters which in their nature are outside the mandate of LLF to be debated there and some decisions inappropriately taken at local government instead of the provincial and national bargaining levels. Two, at the same time, we are aware of the general failure in some municipalities to convene meetings of LLFs and ensure functionality of these structures. Three, 
the abuse of LLF processes by opportunistic elements to drive subjective interests of certain local government public representatives instead of carrying out their collective aspiration, interests and views of workers and employers for a general trend where some members of Troikas opportunistically or in lieu of stability, allowing themselves to be drawn into labor dispute matters, thus encroaching with the scope of the statutory mandate of accounting officers to exercise their powers as defined in law. As Salga, we remain convinced that the task grading system and job evaluation remains the best option for the local government sector. We want to call upon the leadership in all our municipalities to take seriously the matter of adopting a professionally developed comprehensive organograms. Only with such a structure will each municipality expedi expeditiously progress to finalize the job evaluation and post to person matching. We believe that gathered in this PMA are staunch protagonists for fundamental change and progressive developmentalism. Honorable Premier, like all uh, credible strategic policy advocacy organizations, as Salga, the leader of organized local government, will consistently address all fundamental structural and policy issues until both the national and provincial spheres of government live up to their word and demonstrate vigilance to their conduct. As such, the following remain serious structural and policy issues which we believe must urgently be addressed. The Constitution of the Republic of uh, South Africa and the National Land Transport Act 209, as a first point, gives national and provincial governments a responsibility to ensure that municipalities that lack capacity and resources are capacitated to perform their land transport functions. There has been slow progress since April 2009 when the Act was enacted to capacitate municipalities to take on the municipal regulatory and, contra and contracting functions. Amongst many functions, municipalities need to be capacitated to become municipal regulatory entities in order to issue operating licenses for tax operations whose orig or, or origination and destination are within their municipal boundaries. That's the first point. While we agree with the findings of the diagnostic report on the capacity challenges amongst our cities and municipalities, as a sphere of government in the cutting edge of service delivery, we believe that integrated multimodal transport planning can be better performed at this level of our government. We are certain that you will agree with our view that transforming the energy sector is a second point and ensuring vi viability of both ESCOM and municipalities must remain our national priority. In the same vein that ESCOM sovereign debt has a sym symbiotic relationship with that of the country, it must be understood that local government stability is also inherently linked to the country's sovereign stability. The local sphere of government since the late 1990s was then left with a legacy whereby the constitutional authority and fiscal powers of municipality for distribution remained undermined. We want to make an urgent call to the Honorable Minister to work with us to address this uh, impasse. The increasing inability of a number of poorer municipalities to sustainably service their ESCOM debt is related to this structural and systematic challenge. It is our considered view that the decision by Salka to file court papers for a declaratory order is long overdue. As the leadership of Salka, at the risk of, growing, of, of a growing impatience by our members, we sought to exhaust all available intergovernmental relations mechanisms. We remain convinced, though, that this is but one of a number of interventions that are required to stabilize finances of municipalities. It has always been our argument that the net rent impact of any financial bailout to any state entity, including ESCOM, either increase our national debt and therefore has a direct impact on the shrinking national fiscals, 
and therefore significantly affect allocations to the sector. It is within this context, therefore, that we are calling upon our government to write off ESCOM debt. This will also put an end to the emerging litigious matter of debt owed to municipalities by ESCOM in terms of the continuing use of our infrastructure without paying for it. I observed in one of the TV programs, the debate was about the extent to which municipalities sink ESCOM through not paying. Yet from where was seated, there's also an extent to which ESCOM sinks municipalities through not paying. We remain concerned by the deepening drought crisis in our country and the province. We are convinced that if we do not plan accordingly to effect long-term solutions, we run the risk of worsening our status as a water-scarce country. We call upon all water services sector players to work with us as SALCA to fully understand and accordingly respond to the changing climatical state of our world and therefore invest in future. Fit and climate-proofed infrastructure to introduce appropriate capability to store raw water and eliminate the amount of water losses. We have seen in the recent days the MEC for Cocta in the Sarapatman area providing that kind of uh, assistance to struggling municipalities. And we call upon all mayors and ministers to work with SALCA to intensify the national awareness campaign, to urge our people, companies, to use water sparingly, grey water usage plus localization of storage capacities. We note the recently publicized gazette by the Minister of Water Services to extend the scope of mandate of Amatola Water Port to include all municipalities in the province, we will convene a special session to discuss this matter and collectively respond. We have also extended an invitation to the board to join our PMA and form part of the deliberations as we seek to find long-term solutions to the provision of clean and quality water for our people. I must mention that from our interactions with a couple of municipalities, in the province. We are of the view that Amatola is part of the reasons our municipalities are underperforming. We have seen, we've seen that phenomenon at various uh, districts, district municipalities and locals that have got the duty of, 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 of providing water services. And we are of the view that we can't just throw to say we're just extending the scope and mandate without looking at Amatola's capacity in the first place to provide water services. The access to clean running water services, in our view, is a matter of life and death to our people, and it can't be a political mudslinging uh, mechanism to acquire and, and, con and, and concentrate power on the hands of certain individuals. It can't, we can't agree with that. I am the hot petrol, the hot, the hot. On behalf of the PEC, I would like to commend the people of Nelson Mandela Bay for working with their municipality to do everything possible to avoid day zero. Efforts of the minister through intervention team has also added the necessary impetus in terms of promptness and effective project turnaround. The continuing political killings, which while affecting all spheres of government and social formations, has had a significant impact on current and former local government leaders and practitioners. And this requires an urgent attention by all spheres of government, civil society in general. In our view, this is a direct attack on the integrity of our democracy. The unfortunate long-term impact of this will lead to reluctance by credible people to assume political office at local government level as councillors, whilst at the same time dissuade competent and qualified professionals from joining the local government sector. Whilst as a country we continue to grapple with the inherent permutations of this barbaric phenomenon, would like to make an urgent call to the Minister of Police to urgently prioritize the following interventions. One, drastic action by department is needed to prevent further loss of life caused by what appears to be properly planned and orchestrated killings. Two, the three spheres of government, civil society in general, 
must work together to avoid further loss of life and damage to property caused by disgruntled communities. Three, where arrests have been made, our justice system must impose harsher sentences. Four, provision of close protection service to our councillors in terms of VIP, VIP and residential security, including immediate provision of this service as an automatic benefit linked to certain categories and where necessary to all when threat to life has been confirmed without having to wait for what seems to be a complicated system currently used by SAPS. We condemn the recent senseless killings of our councillors and members of their families also in other provinces. <clears throat> Human settlements is one of the functions that significantly determines the relative location of other land uses and a significant impact on the allocation of municipal resources. There is therefore a compelling argument for this function to be devolved to local government in terms of the constitutional principle of subsidiarity. In cases where municipalities do not have the required capacity levels, the devolution of functions should take place on an incremental basis and support must be provided to municipalities to build their capacity to the required level. The devolution of the housing function is therefore not only critical to improving performance in the human settlement sector in high capacity municipalities, but it will also contribute to better outcomes in relation to managing urbanization, containing sprawl and creating sustainable built environment given in the migration being experienced by, the, by these municipalities. Program director, our constitutional constructs provides for a form of government which is made up of three spheres, three spheres that are distinct, interdependent, and interrelated. It provides for a reciprocal system of cooperative governance. Section 154 of the Constitution calls upon national and provincial government to support the local sphere of, and to manage its own affairs to exercise its powers and to perform its functions. Whilst the principles of cooperative governance as set out above to prevent the spheres of government from introducing into each other's space, the Constitution creates an exception through Section 139 and empowers a province to initiate an intervention in the event that all efforts to provide intensive Section 154 support have failed. As a measure of the last resort, where a municipality has failed to discharge its executive obligations despite all the support provided to it in terms of Section 154, the ultimate purpose of a Section 139 intervention must be designed to assist the said municipality to become a sustainable and viable municipality able to perform its functions assigned to it. Section 154 calls for the three spheres of government to work together and as SALCA, we believe working together to provide a well-coordinated and indeed well-intended substantive Section 154 support to all these municipalities, we would have few or even no municipalities under Section 139. And I must emphasize that as local, as organized local government, we are specifically mentioned as participants in terms of that intervention. And it's not just a courtesy invitation for us to be part when a municipality has to, sub to be subjected to that particular provision. We are particularly encouraged by the convergence of ideas between this leadership, the MECs for Treasury and COCTA, as well as the Premier in this regard. Indeed, the future of mutually reinforcing cooperative governance is brighter in the Eastern Cape, and we take it from the few interactions that we have had with the leadership at the provincial level. Salga, <clears throat> Salga continues to advocate for an equitable fiscal dispensation that is considerate of the assigned mandate and the many responsibilities undertaken by local government. Salga will continue to advocate for effective approaches to debt reduction in the sphere. We propose the following. One, a bill on the writing off of household debt to municipalities. Two, amendments of the Tax Administration Act to allow for access of non-financial data to improve municipal billing and the proposal of payment of municipal debts before tax refunds are made. Three, amendments in the Municipal Systems Act Schedule 10 to extend its provision to all employees and POP 
benefiting from the fiscals. And four, a study on the financial and fiscal repercussions of ESCOM's role in the electricity distribution industry on local government. We are hoping, as clearly shown in the program, that this gathering, not of local government leaders and practitioners talking to each other, but a provincial gathering whose deliberations will benefit from our collective views and indeed whose outcomes will form an integral part of the Eastern Cape strategic approach to turn around local government. The introduction of apartheid as official government policy in 1948 represented perhaps one of the darkest and most reprehensible hallmarks in South Africa's historical lexicon. This system used special divisions as a mechanism for adv advancing its agenda of racial segregation. Apartheid spatial planning uprooted and disintegrated many communities which previously were racially diverse into racial and ethnic communities. This historic context in our day South Africa in particular within the local government transformation discourse, is manifested through the type of spaces that are demarcated into municipalities. These variables are important to determine the grade of a municipality, population figures, which in terms of the equitable share formula dictates what a municipality receives from the national figures on top of what it collects as part of municipal revenue. All these combined in turn significantly contribute towards the state of development and therefore levels of poverty, unemployment and related social ills. In addition, this has a direct impact in terms of the actual salaries, allowances and benefits for councillors and employees in the sector. The lower the grade of a municipality which is inextricably linked to the geographical locus, the smaller the budget of a municipality and therefore the lower the salaries of councillors and municipal employees. The introduction of regulatory instruments to cap salaries of senior managers in the sector has also had unintended consequences. Not only has it made it difficult to attract expertise to rural municipalities, it has also led to many municipal managers earning far less comparably than their unionized subordinates. The same could be said about the inherent contradictions in terms of determination of salaries for councillors. We hope that the presidents of SALGA will continue to pursue this matter at the national levels. In conclusion, Program Director, those responsible for historical crimes typically reject accountability for obvious reasons. We must therefore continue to mobilize South Africans against all forms of triple oppression. The recent arrest of a white woman who would, better share our, who would better share our country with pit bulls than black people is reason enough for all of us to say the struggle for a non-racial society is still far from over. The continuing carnage against women and children continues to be a priority area of attention. The 16 days of activism must not be considered as a symbolic gesture. It is our way of focusing the whole of society to the agency with which more must be done to end patriarchy and be deliberate in our efforts to empower women and the girl child. To end all forms of social prejudices, we need to create a society that tolerates different choices people make about their lives. If there was ever a period to work together to address all forms of gender discrimination, it is now. If there was ever a crucial moment for our country to pay closer attention to the family unit, community and the country at large, it is now. We must urgently address the decaying social fiber and moral values in South Africa. Allow me to conclude with the wise words Nelson Mandela upon receiving the honor of being an ambassador of conscience award uh, said, I open quote. It is my fervent wish that we shine the candle of hope for the forgotten prisoners of poverty. Like slavery and apartheid, poverty is not natural. It is people who have made poverty and tolerated poverty. And overcoming poverty is not a gesture of charity. It is an act of justice. Whilst poverty persists, there is no true freedom. I close ghost. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much, uh, Provincial Chair. It is a, another round of applause, please. It is a Gela Ingosi, as call your pang Semva. Zitale Paimva, where NEC members. Blenda will sell a long for a camera. A bus corner upon a semver and tell us on the lepa. Thank you very much, uh, Chair of the Province, Chair of Salga. I think there must be a discussion between the Provincial MEC for, for Transport and Safety. We are here again. On the question of uh, threats that uh, councillors are faced with, especially what councillors. I know I'm a police, a uh, uh, national government. Premier, it takes a long time for crime intelligence uh, to present an assessment, a threat assessment. Because what we do, particularly speakers' offices, when a councillor is facing a threat, we put everything into the due process. Communicate with the office of the city manager. City manager communicates uh, with the provincial commissioner. And provincial commissioner will say without doing anything, by the way, this is a serious threat. Municipality intervene by providing protection. And it will, take, it will take months and months and months before the threat assessment uh, is, 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 is made. And it, it deals with the resources of the municipalities, yet there is nothing. By the way, others are taking chances. Others are, are taking chances uh, because they see uh, the mayor, the Deputy Mayor, the Speaker, the Chief Whip protected, uh, and they will want that protection. Others with, with uh, serious cases um, of fake threats. But I think we, we, we just need to talk to the MEC, but also the Provincial Commissioner, so that the, 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 the matter is fast-tracked. So it's, it's provincial, it's national. When you are a councillor, uh, you are in trouble. Your house is touched, everything is done to you um, before sometimes you are killed. So it's serious. Um, I think police will have to take this very serious. Uh, thank you, Chef, for raising it, uh, because I think it's something that we need to take it uh, head on. I am told Imatu is not present because it's messages of support now. Uh, some will just indicate where you are, Samu. Is Samu here? Uh, Samu will uh, give us a message of support. Um, thank you. Uh, program director, my name is um, Luz Goyalezo, Provincial Secretary of SAM. Um, let me take this opportunity, Program Director, to greet you 
um, to great um, about Bishop Skid, um, provincial chairperson of Salga, and the president of Salga and NECs. Um, greetings to um, Honorable uh, Premier Tatumabuyani. Greetings to um, our Minister Baumadiba Tatu Kodongwan. Uh, greetings to um, Tata Williams, Troika's traditional leaders, business fraternity, faith-based organization, all delegates. Uh, let me take this opportunity uh, to allow me to greet you all today. On behalf of um, Samu in, in the province, I wish to take this opportunity to thank you for inviting us so that we can take time to interact and exchange views and ideas with other stakeholders in the local government territory. This session is very important to us as labor component to interface with you as employer in the local government sector. As labor, we are one of, we are of the view that platform of uh, this magnitude should be convened from time to time. As some in the sector, we want to send a clear message to all delegates present in this imperative session. We so wish that the following issues could be attended to as soon as possible by role players in the sector. These are the followings. Promote a culture of good governance. Provide effective, efficient municipal services. Invest in the development, retention of human capital to serve municipality and its communities. Promote social, equitable economic development. Ensure sustainability, financial viability in all municipalities. Create a safe, healthy environment. Place Batupili principle in the center of service delivery. Fight corruption and maladministration. Protect whistleblowers. We are saying that um, we must stop this issue of privatization. We must understand the Z union. Stop privatization, outsources of services that could be done by internal staff. Fumansa Gobanyo must pay 80% when Gonzo or privatize the issue. Stop political interface with administrative issues. Continue providing political oversight on administration. Stay away from captured by directors as political leadership of, inst of institutions. Improving performance cultures. Siabule la gelo kabela. Improve audit turnarounds. Siabona ba ikwaninda wesiagoyo. 
once again want to call chief whip speakers of councillors to enforce councillors and accounting officers of various municipalities in the province to convene LLFs as it is a cry among structures of the union. I can parliament scenario except the LLFs. I'm happy uh, Uche was speaking about that. The ongoing union bashing attacks towards existing of unions, charging, dismissing of shop steward, in particular at Koka and uh, ATM in deliberate provocation of union members. The interest is to destabilize uh, municipalities in the province. We want to appeal to councillors in the province to respect local government space of legislative, uh, in particular LLF, in terms of the acts. 84 and 85 in terms of consultation. Our responsibility as parties in the council is to bring about stability in the workplace in order to improve quality services to our people. Tatu Mandela once said, open quote, as long as many of our people will live in alter poverty, as long as our children will live under plastic covers, as long as many of our people are still without jobs, no South Africa shall rest and wallow in joy in our freedom. The trust of our people depends to all of us to change their situation from national, Baumatiba, from provincial, Tatumabuyan, from local government levels. So working together with you in very imperative to meet to our need of our people. I am delighted by the theme of Salga province, a provincial members assembly. Open quote, working competitively to recapitulate local government professionalism towards efficient service delivery, institutional agility, resilience, financial viability, and sound, responsive, inclusive government, close quote. I so wish all municipality present here can live with this theme for the next couple of years to change the current status quo in our local government. Sitindoza Guti, Mainga Felizandi, were very worried as Abasebenzi, Kubali Kamva, Leto, Nelabandwa Nabetu, Nezuzukula Nezetu. The current status quo, Sbonisa Indoba, Singa Betleka and Singa Yenz Minyaka, Elande Layo, Sisa Pila, Sino Local Government, because of the above that I was talking about. Samu wishes the assembly, Ikubegege, Ipumelel, Ingos. Asmulele, Provincial Secretary of Samu. We are what I tell again, Imatu, Mubai, Iko, Imatu. Sikawle Zile will request, um, because Imatu is not here, 
irrepresentative civil society, um, Mr. Daluko Lokokeni or Dalutan Lokokeni is not here. Um, Mr. Sogone, who is the chair of board of directors, the EXAC, is not here. Uh, by the way, Madiba, uh, I'm again a member of the board, the EXAC. Remember, uh, the founder, EXAC. Yes, so I'm back there as a member of that board. I can call Mr. Sogone the DG. And then we'll allow the um, House of Traditional Leaders in the province, Ungosi Gwadizo, as in Apambele, over to you, Mtlagas. I'm not doing the performance of the but I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to Thank you. Thank you very much, Program Director. Uh, o Premier, the province, uh, Minister, the National, uh, MEC. Ubukosi, Ngakumbi, Ndi Kachele, Kubu Kumkani, Bamambondo, Pase Kaugen. Executive Yesalga, Goko Kelwa, Ngucha Person, Yaos, Mayors, Deputy Mayors, uh, speakers and members is Gasalga. I'm, I'm sorry, members is a municipality that is uh, councillors as Koyo. Uh, e officials is uh, E strategic partners that are present here today and everybody invited. Uh, I take this opportunity as a chairperson of the Provincial House of Traditional Leaders and also uh, as a member now, uh, Yesalga. <laughs> uh, the theme of the House of Traditional Leaders in this term is repositioning traditional leadership to be a vehicle to advance rural development and promotion of social cohesion amongst all fears of leadership for the betterment of our society. National and provincial houses of traditional leaders enhance the cooperative relationships within national and provincial government. Local houses of traditional leaders deepen and cement the relationship between municipalities and traditional leaders on customary law and development initiatives. Traditional leadership institutions have a critical role in the country's democracy and in communities, particularly in the relation to rural development. Hence, therefore, good relations have to be developed and maintained. It is not a mistake, and we took a conscious decision as the traditional leaders in the houses. As you would understand, all the chairpersons of local houses are here today. It is not the provincial house only, on the basis that I am 
as the chairperson, a SALGA uh, executive. But we made it a point that all uh, the chairpersons of local houses are here on the basis of the fact that the local houses deepen and cement the relationship between municipalities and traditional leadership. <laughs> traditional leadership are expecting a lot from the municipalities because there is no traditional leader in the right sense of mind that want to lead a community that is poor, that has no services, that has nothing. We expect a lot from the municipalities in terms of cooperation for the develop development of the communities that the traditional leaders are leading. It is that reason why we are here, because we want to participate, we want to give us our, 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 our advices when necessary, as it is dictated by the legislation, that we will advise government and participate whenever it is necessary, so that at the end of the day, we are all having thriving communities with proper development. The legislation has also given an opportunity to traditional councils. That traditional councils can have service level agreements with municipalities so that any bottleneck that talks about development is able to be iron out or threshed out through those service level agreements because all what we want is that we operate in a space where there is harmony because traditional leadership is there also as part of the mandate to make it a point that there's social cohesion there's peace in the communities so that when you go out and look for investments, for development, when those investments or development, it comes to communities that are conducive for the sustainability and proper realization of uh, the profits if it's a business. So if you don't have uh, that situation, you know, communities, communities that are always in upheavals, there is fighting, there is all that, you cannot have any investment. I want to say on those words, we are wishing all this engagement, very important engagement, we wish this engagement to be prosperous and also yield good results for the long term and sustainability of our communities. Thank you very much. Nkoskakulu Mshagaza, the provincial legislature is not here. Uh, speaker of provincial legislature is not here. Um, then the program takes us to Dr. Ngaba uh, Andile Kaha. Kukaha Loa. Yes, I am talking at the bar Over to you, Ngero. Uh, Mandibuli uh, program directors, Kali. Yeah. The Bulis uh, 
Kuminister Weze Mali, Ku Premier Nazo Zonke Inko Kelly as Lapa the Pond. The Bully Sege Nenko Kelly is a national the Salga and as a province. Oh, Mayor, no executive mayor. And then go see Zalabu Klalin. Zautetang a technology. Zaunzi comment is Bembi, new gala before the Ted. Kukona Abanda Babini, Omnia Gutwa, he digital native. Loge uzalwe kwi technology. Kube kona again a logo to a digital immigrant. Loge ufana nani. Ndwe eh, sizo yenza pa sizo kukula nina. Uba nibezi digital native. Ile ndwe sizo yenza again in the next 20 minutes. Now... And this is the one who got one sounds a comment. Premier in the Uber. Upper good native, not we immigrant. Usually, go back on a gay immigrants. In natives, the Lala Nazi phone is on a petting. A person go in. Immigrants is on a beggar pet can go pet. Godra, class here a toilet. Before Zingene put in, either as any immigrant is the Amber Nayo, if only a toilet and go one, Kazibuya, Oganya Zichong, a toilet, Oganye, Zidi Kazibuya, Zipina Zibeg, it's unquipped. Nini Kea. So, Sizaunenza ke in natives, Uba Ninga, the filthy phone. If only get I live all young into a palayo with internet, I eat the make, but but good. So the pin it to make. Ugu eat the man, close it to delete, eat the make up a go a car. But Pago internet is a corner, class for no fuman. So, eh, would delete Lona, Ila Panje. We delete ilapa go screening, but park we serve ka WhatsApp. I to make it pa. We are gone. So clause on nele sila we no behind the delete. You must know in the Roma we immigrant. I we a condo it to make a yo we internet. Why bala ya usala. Undo Sala. So, so Indians of Tetang Azo, Zabuela Guele, Marquesi Tete, and go put this a pond. Inja, Inja. So, I think Songa we know in Oba, our province uh, is is endowed with, you know, a history of automotive. And it's a, it's a, it's a heritage we want to protect. And it's, a, it's, a, it's an industry that really is almost at the pillar of what we are doing. I mean, and it's the biggest export that we have. Also, you know, also Mashishina Bakasayo are very critical with digital economy which we need to find a way on how to, to develop them. Now, one of the two things I'm going to put here are two bold statements, right? In Dogoba, Eastern Cape, I mean, has good infrastructure. Now, how, how can you say that? It has, comparatively speaking. Sometimes when you hit hard, you need to look at what's happening in the world before Utahekega cool. I'm going to prove this to you. So, 
E, e, e province has predominantly government services, trade, finance, manufacturing, right? But what I really want to talk about is that what we call digital economy. Now, Zkali, in 93, 94, when we told people Uba, each person will hold a mobile phone, uh, people said, I, I eco yonkelond. But today, exactly. Now, we all have phones. I mean, when I say to you in the Hukba, the way how we're going to solve Ubi wa Gwenko Omo DM, it is as Fagali Drake and Jenga Mot. And you will be able to find in Komoyako Taibiu because you will be able to know Uba Ipina. That's what digital economy means to you. So, Uima Melagak Legalendo, it's Ayondo as a Doloponi Ka, is our Nedisa, Nawe, Apa, you know, Kule, Kulomas Palawak. You will have a digital strategy as a Maspal. Now, I put this bold, basically, uh, uh, argument, dear uh, Indogumba. Jengba Singu number four in the contribution of a GDP in How can we be number three? Now, when I say this, somebody said, I saw the, and I can argue here. If we can be number three contributor to the GDP of the country ahead of the Western Cape. It's possible. And that can be done within 10 years. Similarly, we can even continue to be number two. Sibetele province Lapa, just a kilometer away from here, and be number two after Houting. It is not impossible before 2035. Now, if we get by school in Ubungengom to or Tandu computer, you know, you, we can compete with these two provinces next to us and be able to beat them. Competition is very healthy, basically. Now, in Lelage, that will lead us digital economies Now, economic activity that results from billions of everything being online, not just phones, your car will be online, a tractor will be online, a Cuba will be online, right? A Giza will be online. That is what we talk about as la digital economy. It's when everything is connected. Now, for instance, must start to meet a low wombane or pago maspala. Okay, meet a le yamans. These meters, there's absolutely no reason in Dogogba our guazu funda pe phone in. Zikalu indogoba amanzo wa konsumayo anga gananina. Oganyo umbane o konsumayo unga gananina. It's possible in this digital world, less tetangai. So, what will make the Eastern Cape move to that third place for 2030 is the adoption of a digital economy strategy, or what one is calling the 4IR strategy. We were appointed by the president as a group of us to write what is called the 4IR report as a commission. The document management understand e contextualize kulomas palawak that document you can download it to internet the 4ir commission report kamongame and this will assist you in you know 
helping you understand in the Hukba, what are the steps that need to be taken? What are the steps that need to be taken by Umaspala in this route a for IR? Now, we are born almost park where endly nelalin unala tanki a man's and it la man's the uakogelela yum clambim full a clinet or gagne unala man's the asuka gumaspala. Right? E data ke lacy seven the sayo. Now you in a tanki as in jalo. S is biza uba zi data centers. Organe the reservoir the data. So in the Balegle, you've been sent to Umzegelo, Levec Pele, your Piemont, Uba, e data, le we generate your wena, upper WhatsApp, Organe, we Instagram, Organe, we Facebook. Funego Kuz Booz and Doba, EAP, Apisala Corner. Where is it located? Where is it located? Hmm? And this is a pendulum, and this is a pendulum. Let data ke kutwa i data center. Sifuna ibe la pa kufuchane kwa la pe pondwe. Oganye kwa la pa kumaspala. So that uzo kwa zupata la imali engi ngi kao downloada. But if i data yako Iku de gue is a kappa organe houting. A pitelcon organe pesheya, cloud downloader, upadala la mali yala distance in de. Ilon doge city, kufunega sake is a data center, apa, so that it distance between wena, nala reservoir data, si busy data center, ibe kualape pondwin. Then the price here data, lechi wanga bandwana, is a wazu kwele. Awuzu patala le malu yu patala ye. So, londo kiba ila foundations kali, ye digital economy. Leyo kwa ka, as a data center, apa locally. So, now, E players ke kule ecosystem ye digital economy. Nini ke hulment, zi entrepreneurs as fananat, ne private sector, ne academic institutions. The sevens are zonke as zindo. Akum to ubaleke ulula omye in the creation of this digital economy. Zonke as stakeholders, zibaleke. Kune pila ez in tano, ez itike fune gube nazo. When you create this digital economy framework, this is standard worldwide when people talk about the digital economy. It digital infrastructure ke ile network zo zo MTN no Vodacom, right? Ifai pale fune ga iwe leaves uz kaulezise uz vuma indoba kwa kiwi fai ba guma spala wak. There's a data center, right? And then ne services Oma Uzi provide. Enye ke zi regulation, ne funeka zi kale zi suongo ikasa, ne cyber security, indwe ba lege ka kulen za buyela goyo because ne ba kele zi gene ina politicians apa ku cyber security. Sa ne negeza ma ikzebiso nja mabihin, go ba ingo zi lente la nkubangayo. Enye ge ile ye human resource development. Now, singe nege mkolwe ni ba i Eastern Cape Digital Economy yona maibenja. So, ndi suggesta ge premier i creation of what I call the digital office. Right? I digital office ge is our constitutua as our stakeholder bin is mentionile E, for instance, academia or universities, for instance, government and various stakeholders. And the office then will assist in the creation 
of that township technology training environment. No go theta, no minister of finance, who attract e development finance institutions and various investors, Uba Zize, Apa, Epondwin. The Eastern Cape Digital Office, Yio Eza, identify e legislations that are either blocking or hindering Lendo Stetangayo, Yokwaka, as a data center, Apa, Go KSD, Nagwez, and Yindao. Injal. No good developer e relationships. Nenda with Fanano, Silicon Valley, Bangalore, Shenzhen in China, Singapore, and many other places, Esesi Ambelentlela, Lend Tetangai. So, who are the members or delegates or people that could participate in the digital office? Or Kuha, or for instance, ESCZ, for instance, Isal Gayona, provincial government, private sector, and few other people. All right. These are the members who will constitute delegates to that digital office. Now, e-digital infrastructure, e-digital infrastructure again, for it to happen, Kufenega and it must kuneza port layer semont, a harbor layer semont in a harbor layer se by. E internet, ibanayo, into enjeng a harbor nayo, e cables, as is buya elwand. And these are the cables, as in Zakube Lula, Lando Ben Tetangayuba, it data, ibe cheap. Okwanguku, asinazo as cables, apa, a province in. When you have to go abroad, right, you have to go via Cape Town or via Deben. And yet, sinalo uloandle. We can have e access quest submarine cables, but provided in Doba Zienzeg. So, e digital office will be able to bring and attract Abantu Abazakwa Ka Ezizind. Isaac Wakiwa Ngemali Ka Holmente Matiba. No. The office is to engage as stakeholders in order for them to come here, assetating a budget, whether national or provincially. But in Gabantu Abaza Gwazu Tikoza, Batetenez investors, Ubama Zize, Zizo Gwenza Lent. So a number of things such as agritech, for instance, e agriculture, e tractors and wuku as a kujuam to ziaze ambel. Right? E cables e tractor e ambe isebenze kunge kum to pezgwai. These are things that are happening today in the digital world. That is why we need to be able to do this. I don't have to talk about renewable energy. To power this particular environment. So what I'm saying is that, Premier, we need to create this office in order for us to push ourselves towards 2030 and get these investors in order for us to better in province So, for instance, uh, you know, always talk about artificial intelligence. Lendo ikona e usu, ikona e forte, ikona e roads, ikona e Nelson Mandela. Ayondo led as a skill, as the ausfuna outside the province. Abandwa na benu, they know and they understand Lendo. Nez phone is zenu, that's why a phone iku kumbuza njindokuba, le photo, white tango 2017, usenda wenetile. The artificial intelligence ke elapa kuwe phone in that reminds you uba wau pina ge kashel til, right? Enye ndota ke ya ya ke ya 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 tata i phone ya negeza i phone kango skaz kule vengi le babe yo tenga kuyo and ya pinda ya yo tenga kule vengi le ungoskaz zenge ego. 
ez into ezithengayo zathunyelwa pha ku ngosikazi ingaqondanga yona so ibalekile ke i digital life uyabona ibalekile ke i digital life indoba we understand because ez zinto zizanifake engxakini madam yiyo ke i artificial intelligence if i will i will go on the artificial intelligence uyawuba sengxakini uyawuba sengxakini uyaqona na nenye ke kwa i artificial intelligence apha phone ini i phone mos diamba nenye chepa apha buya si track yiyo nencedisayo ujonge moto izaka masipala uba iphi ngoku eh you know bayakwazi no icima ukuthi so niyakwazi ke nonkosikazi uba xa ni thandana indoba i geolocation for its safety mos indoba eh you know ngoba kunzima apha phandle kufuneka nazane uba uphi unkosikazi uphi uyaqona so kufuneka ke i geolocation zisherishwe eh 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 we cancel us stuff funeka zisheri chwe abez phone in so that unkosika zakwa zuchonga pe phone in uba upina nguku ya gone so ibaleki ilegi artificial intelligence eh so so ge eh mas kube ke yena andina xesha andina xesha eh andina xesha so ezinye ke phone ke premier zithengwa zinayo lanto if unkosikazi ukuthengela iphone for instance kulo christmas ahambo uthenge iphone kubuzwe pha i geolocation kwe ip number uyayifaka nje automatically uyaqona akunikeza iphone as present we are gone so as is in doge is normal we are to get nalapu amba kona in case ube nengozi ungo sika zuza uyazi unga zange wena wa mfone we are gone so 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 e ai ke e artificial intelligence e artificial intelligence ke ingeta Quiz into a zinjal. We are gone. That's why artificial intelligence get ibalegin. Nabando anaba baya guazu ti klebolegi phone apagutada. You know, I fagele lendo very easily. So, 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 e e technology get la la digital office is a guazu get no netisa ne informal settlement because. I mean, we always say, you know, about Napago informal settlement. There is a phone, Zabanda Batengisayo, Umdu Onespaza shop, can use a digital technology. Naye Ugutenga, we will say, Ogan Yugutengisa to people who are in the area. I'm not going to go much. Abanda Basamont in there, but Kabisa, if Mshambutes in those good, Pai East London, a mont. Kune kotex hapa ba klawne klasha iya uzai bona lendo ntetanga yo. I mean these young people abala pa ku province they do these things as we speak. So unge nanje we agriculture kanga inge before nsale panches kan. Na la pa ku agriculture ille digital ikona and seikalile and these things are happening right. Indo gogo ba for instance, we irrigation, we sensors as a digital. You can time as a zindo. E drones, we are guazo seven zisa. Uchonga, e disease, we plants in the phone, we are guazo yenza yonga land. So all this is not just something for a dollop. Nengos, if negazi understand it digital, zizo guazo, uti kabe teta nabandu nge mfuyo, no lima, bakwazu understanda, zezi pi technology as inga bangaeta, ukwazu ndo uba, baputli sengendlela, noko e progressive. So, 
I've talked about the automotive industry as an area that will advance as Motozenu, as Inyangogna. So, by the way, ZI collector it data in Doba Upinguk, we are gone. I mean, also, for instance, as a new motor and it is connected in a phone, they know where you are, they can be able to direct you in the morning. As in yes, Yagwazu download a email and Goku, we have one. And email Layako, it download a get up a phone in. As in your motor, this is no WhatsApp, Gualapa with dashboard, WhatsApp Wako, Uzo Shalapa with dashboard, dear motor. We are gone. So this is the life you get your digital natives. You have one? So you know. So so in the phone, I guess it's fun we create again. Lendo Mayinga exclude Abanyaband. So it digital office. Yo geza wenza show in the Uba. Wonke umtu is included. Whether you are in a village, we are involved with agriculture, is solutions the corner. Whether you are an SMME or can you the job, is solutions the corner. Whether you are in the manufacturing of automotive, is solutions the corner. Whether a good government, jalon So let me now. Uh, you know, as I conclude, uh, uh, as Carl in the Tetan J, Gaze goals as he seeks. One, the internet is a legal. I was a pillar of the internet. The internet is a fan of the man. We are gone. And the digital identity is a legal. The digital identity is a legal. You are going to be a robot. Upper we internet, Uboni Malinga echo a pangin. You have one because the identity yako pa online a compromise. You have one. So his safety is very important, right? And the Indian identity is abandu ziabiwa kulum trimbi. So we need to make sure, okay, Indoguba, his safety and security yako online is looked after, okay? So there is now another aspect. I mean, as I conclude, Ebizu again is social engineering. We are gone. Le yabanda bakoka kakulu aba creator e gossip ngabanyabantu. In particular, ni na politicians. You are becoming targets, Zaland. So you need to understand zonke as zinto. We are one. I need in Doba Uti, I am na and this on Gana would tweet and go ba and the funi uba you know and bene account as in gezo zam. No bungeni le no ba ungenanga yafana, you know. E social engineering will affect you. But in doba leg layo, in doba all may and counselors must go through as course the internet, right? Unga to me linje you know, e officials, you need to learn and understand as a center because they affect your reputation. And if your reputation yako pagwe internet ishele awi korekishi, omtoza googlisha, uza fumana la manyondululu abu toki. So, ibalegi legindo ba, awkwazu sala kulempilo yanguku ube uti wena hai and ngeni online hai and zenzi as is it i internet yona siza kufota puwa mbakona si post elendo si tate si kusondeze mshambi nenye ndogazi si tumelele phone pa kungoskazi kutuwa chini umeno bani wena unga zange wama na lomtu ya kona Zienzeka is a zinto. A zine even could jigwe illizwi a lilaco, li fagwe, ibengatungue or tetai. We are gone. So our source we baleke it digital genyao premier. Two, Kufunega ni funde lendoni understand the uzo quasi in dogogba uilwe gentlela a right. So, that's why I said social media is key to running any municipality. 
as mayors or executive mayors, it's critical that you must be online, right? And you need to learn and understand how to be online. So, uh, this is our Kabezel again, the city, the public relations is very important, Lando, right? Don't take it lightly. Iwa we see amadota, Lando. We are gone. Ubuko gobu paloayo pa ku internet. Ngezi ndo umdanga zange. Oga nyengenda au umdugu tuwe wawusenda unetile nge kasheltile unga zangu bepa. So, ukebeze lage, ubulela zikali nditi. E digital office ye pondo. Ne stakeholder ema zbe kuyo la office. No counselor, no maspala, who found is social media. And the day to bam na umamele nje, utali class in no by six hours, get six months. If I ye and ye in the lendo, we was rumbling up and goes. Ah, Ningo Yiki in the Zagut Ningo Yiki. But also Nifmaneke as phone in Koba M. Vogalendo in Dotting a Shia phone office in Quetzal buying a Ziwapikoi. Cities if Funa sing a Fuman. No, thank you very much, Kaha. Uh, Masi Masi Kuben is necessary and engage a la line put. Kunas Tetas in a coy as names up as Bangalba. Sikawles as Fike Kuwa Matiba. Kwa dake mandizi chikishba. Azika biko na udiji, aga biko ya province. Kwa nyagana ubako, kwa mbi hapa, usheke ne, ne office, ka prime ya ne pond. Uh, I think let's, let's, let's hand it over to you, Matiba, so that we, we don't waste time. Kwa banda banga koya. Last six hours in the six months, that would be six months, less six hours. Could have never seen for man and those of it. Balegi, the last six hours in six months. Six months, Mose. I've never seen for man. Koska cool. And Koska's Kali, Jengom party when Kuba. The Kasele Bishop Buskiti. The Castle Queen Columbus or your pond. Cuco e protocol gapa and your pula. An calling of Premier or Minister Echo. Fnego calling of Minister was a good Premier. Gapo go go uza chichilis anga funua amba apango bum kulu no minister. Uwe emi siga kukta ukoyo pa uh, umdaga Williams. Umdaga Williams. Inga ati na ufune kutingu wa amba umdaga Williams. Kuni inu sepundu ina kuriji. Baza utiba kukota wa utiba iti ushele zitalu nzaba. U president we salga ni national executive yake. Usalo weapon, the Casalga Umdaga and Wondrana, ne executive yak, ne host the two as in Bini, Umdaga and Selembana, no mamma from Bart. 
Nenko Kelige Sabasebin says Koyo Apa Ne Delegate Zong Dia Vuerman Lusugulus Tatu in this Eastern Cape Lusugulus Tatu in this Eastern Cape Benzes Cap Bata Banduga Tandy Bizel Luka Mapa Botuga and Papa Abanis. Kavanda ba dala ba divile, kwa ba ya ba indonis kap ba ba zilka melka taka start. Tia bakla la ba kuna ndi kula uta tawe tengu kushagunda wasimbi. Eskap na simba, ambani nyau. So na isologe bendi. Semata Tiel Dabasem Tin. The Ambag and Neck candidate is in being. Any egg, it cries and go goody. Gang it campaign, the campaign elite to quiz Vegas Kribel. Bella Vegas and Binis of Kribel. Any it I Ubat Mnan Veledang and Nangaran Canvans, the Nangaran campaign. Uti gumi gogo eni kandi te koyo po engena kam iti ba ingeni lengo chanya risa wenzuri shaful dimkem ambaga ni kandi te ubuzi lafba ikandi tiga sela nagla manzala pa ina waya anga waya odwa na mans. Ultra Haga Umdaga, one do you give Sanga and Doctor to Fortu Yako Nangapa, the Pi Office near Keglise Houti, Whitey Tati Fortu Yako, Uyo Twanga, and Dogas in Entry. Whitey Gemba see a will exchange in Genzagalon, the colors and the entry in the Kelly Lunkoskas. Tati mamchao utaka uti kundenza yu msindoza yu. Diso novela ndive zue nendo mbe ebedi. Uya zike mamchao londo itai vela utaka ibese itazile ndisa bendinga enza hangu. Tandi kuitreka kaka. Ekwa zuivula. Gugu ndi kwenye ndo ito itelematik. Saka itani kakutuma mchawe. So, tise mtle. Mandizi mtholi ini wanda kweta. Anza ukala lo mtapulo. Anza ukapela ngukala. Ndi kote na amu tatu mande. Utu tatu mande la democracy will have little content. And indeed, we will be short-lived if we cannot address our socio-economic problems within an expanding and growing economy. Nanzo Gedi, Utla have one silly level of growing the economy because if we don't grow the economy, as is also done. We as the the bigger and the fuller the land of medium term budget policy statement as a statement. Na kala ngendo eti kwa kona kandi skalesa statement. Da ati kulula bandu baati, ayi keni mamela wanda ba ne politike entle kutwe ili neoliberal economy this and this. Ndi ti no amount of progressive economic, macroeconomy can work kwa unge nambani. We can have all the nice things unge nambani, ayizu kusebe enza lo. It's now 14 years trying to fix XCOM, not to fix power to the grid. 14 years. Google's name manager, Mr. Legos, Vex, Pele, Yogba. The funeral of Mandash, Carl. Think I found the lady to do the manager. Funeral of Mandash. What Mandash is going to do again? It is the corner of the Zwin. 
tinayo nampa e petro ese klau eskom ese tdz akanayo niyazi ba akafuna ithenga akuba ayikho tfuna lo ngimanda ashi ei tinamqale ke ndijenga jonge ndibuza abantu bam kwenza kantoni tikhale zinto ubuza abantu bam ngoba ndiyazi ndonakele uza uza kum kwenza kantoni bathi hayi beke bayinqokola begqitha bathi baza u reprouteza uba khwingxa kuba uphinde babuye kuthi kantu manda ashi baleke ogxela no 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 mungame tifumana ke ikhole ngxamisileyo ka mungameli yomfana ni idizili phi kudita hayi kanokubuza kuna abantu abaphetha eSCO uthi ufana bana bakho bahlela ipha yonke le mihla ndithi ngoba uthi ndamuva kokuqala ethuka ngesixhosa wathi uyazi mose ikaka la nto yenzeka pha eSCO I found ke no mungameli usebenza lo magama Mandi bize esibenzi nizi into endizibize pha kwesa speech ezingumqobo kuyikhonomi elandelayo icrime banda kwethu icrime ni nomzeke lopha nansi kumthenti ibridge imili fika izibhongo ubhiya nezabantu zathi no sifuna i30% yalena oba ibona phinde njalo lilizwe linjani elinjalo nizothi emda ngqondwana ingxakeni macro economic policy engasebenzi kakuhle kufika abantu nje i economy isebenza bawumise so zizi into ekufuna ka sijongene kubanda kwethu as ayizoze nodwa zezika national nathi nzama ukuthi nathi asibahlanga xa sithetha ngana sithethe ukuthi nathi silawula kakuhle bendithetha nomntu akasidofile apha ndithi ndandiye ekirala ngomnyunyaka nse lapha eastern cape enzikeni india e india bayinazo nto ukuthi waziphanje athi oh ukuthi ngo kohulumente basekuhlaleni bala vunyelwa abahulumente basekuhlaleni bazidecide luba i priorities zabo zithini ijuti ye province kukuthi bawuthi bakuthi nazi priorities kuba niki resources bawugqiba as including imali ne skills hayi ukuthi bafuna uthathi function bayizizeke ukuthi thina sesifuna uthathi function ngongathi si perfect kogqida abanye abantu wewe nuna so ingxaki ke any face lele enye ingxaki ke endifuna uzichaza ngoba dilwa yonke le mihla ungabona ngathi siyavana no stofile kahlisi ubabini siyavana beke safaka hlangana kulanto ukuthi wayi budget forum unjike loko otywa lesusuni silwang go local government out of my experience ke ke ino kumgijima yo in kubuzela samathumbu kodwa ke nazi into endizifundile tatu eyokuqala into ephaza mso uma sibala ya malgemeshi ndatu nto amalgemeshi ubunga jonga elukhanje koma nibiziphila la nje kakuhle kwaqa kwalala ke imbaxi zoma sibala ezizihluphekelayo udathu speaker wapha usuke cakha cathi ulomdana wokanqabesa athi hayi nasafika sine 70 rand kodwa ne clean audit bejoina la masibala kuqokwele lo oxe nosika ntoni into zaselithuthu no moltino zathi zaqokwele la lento umhlanda abona uma sibala ukuthi uyathinjwa lando yakho esibini enzekileyo kwangelo xesha nidityaniswayo hulumende wenza le into ukuthi fiscal consolidation wakhatha i budget yabona ke kulula le into ukuthi ukhatha i budget yawa i officials akwa treasurer ngo ndikho zithi nangoku bekuthoma ukhatha dathi ke kubo nazi in no go areas ningakhatha bathi asiqhela ukwenza nje proportional xa sikhatha aku prioritize that i ah anizukeza lonto anizumthatha health anizumthatha education anizumthatha ama police anizumthatha u local government 
Now, two things get in such bad lay in don amalgamation budget cuts. I was a negro went away to the funun coupa where in a year in a what did the boom goes over cool. You lend the unfunded mandates. Unfunded mandates get go pass a budget OT. This is our pretty mal ending in a Unfunded mandate, Gale, what is our pretty mal ending in a you? Oh, to begin, what is our ticket on dinner? Financial distress to Magazine, who could do another night, I will, and not begging, I go and I'm being led about the game. I enjoy long alone. Conning and one more lap and as my fun and busy recommend Ubalegi, the Romans, but Utibana and Amen convene in and convenuticum. Emma, intervene Did you have Did So, as a result, almost palamos, back from Basma Motil Shabens and Dosangana was going to Tinas now quasba, Siasba, Umzegolo Ben Teta no dear, Sitetang Island Utmos as in the Lazam, Nel infrastructure as it as in Tali economy in the Kubulungis. Did you now go to the wild coast? Lung says in the Lazaguas are tourism. Um, Kamba to no ban. Indeed, um, Zagelo is king place in South Africa. Land of Prosses King, it's an abelum, but she believes a capi. Lantana building with chicken is a capi. In Yinda, we are going along the Becca South Africa. Nayas? Eh? A roads. In the lago by. It's international known, but we are, we are discouraged because in the last long time. So, if you are going to go long, say no more spala. Six hours, you go in the end and just the 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 reliable. Six minutes, no more spala, but the level is in conzo. Go find the level of bandui. We are. Beko, kaa penel si mandela ndi ufika kuni kim de ba kopi se. Tafika ndati. And I go to Indian Disogians up. This only Kalil band Fununi Creed. This Susan Glon do yam you Fununi Creed and Nitty. Go back what treasure the sense I lend them that would no good daily man's call and go no girl. Even go Ususa good no Ususa when you end up. Did you go about in Fununi Creed and Kalin by turning an uncreed? Honum do Unenyani Pama, not your chief with Blumford. Unenyan what high? Unkoke lunga street, and that's Bangabin was see foot. It got a class boy as a vessel less than that. I could clang up. When the proposal is in the street on Lamaspa. So, must I mean focus on Maspala band over it? Oh, Maspala the end of the deal, and I will buy 257. Ubandi bona e TV ni umaspala kutu ya mangalero. Di azazu bandi number two respondent. Kwenye kemu di bwene ni umaspala wasa ngape e northwest it is so bold. Tako andi respondi ndana abaga nitaila bandi wa mkandi ya delegate wa utiji uvela sign in their phone. Ibanda wakadu kwenye it is so bold la ndikuwa ni. But ayo un number two minister siya respond. So. Who by 43 about ICU? 219 about financial difficulties. 175 about financial distress. Nina again in a 39 year must pala upper upper being above 39 is in metros. Both I can see must but salam is a zombie. As a metro, Dandy Kabele 
in Nelson Mandela Metro, in a four billion, go to the lungs and street lights. It's a plus. We have one danger. Go to an Huluman demanding an ele inocum kitchen. Oh, Zalanzi. Susse gas. Zalanzi, my friend, to take the gas to Tolucole. Yes, I wonder when it's by Kung Bassa Halelung and Alagomas Pan. As not capacity. And in my capacity in the Vinagomas Pala, and the next thing planned in the Vinagomas Pala, another cost in Goga and Giant in Kerisha, Funagan protector abandon but to Meleva. I'm a police about protect, so the cash security is so protect her. And in our capacity, and he turned in Dogs of Maspa. Uban Dizzy, Tinyanzelo, the court, Bendime and Peliko, the Fagway court, and the appointed court, and I may. Yeah. Almost pala abas tray ngwa baba ne unfunded Monday. That's why I'm not going to cancel it. But that is true. But baza ukriti ma labange na yo. Ininzi ma litia yaba maspala i budget yabo tray nga sejen swaga kule. I forty one point five billion rand. Kwa unyaga ndazi sakumbulu kuna. Eseli go maspala. Kwa unu itibansa na le yako, nenzi nka zaati ni plene nonge, unga konu mwa inge buwana gala. Kodu wake, uza utike u, 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 in not to ask to feel partially correct and do you want them good and run a young limit partially correct? The baby is abandoned on one of the power, Cogel abandoned as lender, the palm great massacre. I say, partially correct, Yogba. There was an assumption that such of a Maspala Yogba or Maspala General Banner own revenue. Even clearer like in Gogba. Isuka plun ko banda ba ba kupi malika la ba itu itu ngugu zapata la uzawa. Ba itu itu. But here is another problem. U bani nga mamela utatunga. Aningi tisenge revenue collection so that sabo maspala asbaz no ba na ba fanwa ba asbada ungati ba itu endi kando une another thousand nonga kwazui charge na ufunuta dunga ba ge aguneke la revenue collection system of advice how do you do that digital uso sasigengo so partially correct mdaga stofile but also there's also be a revenue enhancing mechanism. Kula for one billion is thirty-seven point nine zig grants. Yellow budget. As you see, our infrastructure. Lonya go malut kutile. And spend it almost pal out of forty-two point two billion on infrastructure which is 74% of total infrastructure budget, which means there's almost 25% understanding. Now, if you look at these section one reports, Mdaga Williams, section seven one reports, Nani Bo Mayor. Why? Because if Nani Bo Ni trend line, we are alien, we are the intervention. I need nanga, not as no section 32. Oh, Minister, we bring up a fund with section 32 completely until last month, until this month. What I did, the EU cabinet in the second, the basasas are labongi understanding yabo. That for the first time is a call every quarter and the report of a cabinet in Bangoba and among I said in Simalaga. The 10th year cabinet, by Ben Fonia Labanuba, I am wrong. 
Tita hai, noba ndi ibale rongo, ndi vuela lendu buifu ndile uko kana makosa. I papers ya mdi ifalfili, kuba mna bendifuna, ukwenzwe leba nifunde, na ukaba noko kana makosa. So na anufunaka, ni msebe nzisela section uh, 71. Kuba sometimes i poor planning, umdufuni malange nae. Koko ndi chinti lege mna, the new sheriff in town, Nanias, non London. In a minute, okay, AI, we are sick. Indeed, we infrastructure was in the Gunigi Maliao. Funegucho, Nancy Plain was out calling Imanos. I treat her Mali from the first of July. Ubung Maspa Ubang provincial or national government. Funagushuba 94, whatever notice. So, can't tell Nesalka province by province, region by region. City Kobo must pala must strong in Indonin Lak. We are going to Indonin Lak. We are going to go at as we are asking a pansquel nan, good try I ask, Babanda Basas fool. We are going to the chop. Abbas Benzel Babandu Mabas fool. You want to get as into the unfunded mandates when the money loomed up with Tapa with Salga, as it may work is where some. Makumeko is sustainable financial sustainability. Hey, the women are not. In my game, do any cabbage city go must pala. Mabaka Shaban to be extended public works program permanently. Fnega buyers all must pala bana la mali. By Tiba Niga Nandabarishi. O must pala. Eo Malu must pala. O must pala and Yabarishi. Ubut Mabaka Shu permanently. Utrugut almost pala mabata timali from their own budget. We have one danger. Financial stability must pala vile la tega ngelo class must vane ngezo sindo. But bend in front of them do some uno pala apa we province. But I want to be a salga bend balsa in baku kolo ondo. Etafle ne fagwengu isamu. That beni vumela ndo ninge netafle. I'm a trade unionist myself. You can't have an item on the agenda which is not capable of resolution. Isalga is not capable of resolving that matter because the funding does not belong to Salga. So that item on the agenda is actually not capable of, of, of resolution, therefore it can't be there. What is a direct grant into an indirect grant? Which means, Jeng Bissis Agua Umas Pala is our Susa, Ila Ulenguye. It becomes indirect. 30 powers Zen. Tifu Melangan alone. Yo, Siwa Dilibe Lun Kaza Nan Manina, a budget, ye know. 
Nitritenge, we capital expenditure 29.3 percent, Lunyak Pele. Candy put holes as Ninsipa, any day Nails around the Wenzel Bassi Pep and a Usborn as Banifun looms and I'm clunch. Kalong do a bit chilo per Us Kalbandi rate pay a pa. So must Zamini partnership Nan in the Nikaela Salga around a governance. Around these issues, Umdaga Ngondwana Ebe's raise. So raise are two other matters in the Klale Pans. A leadership and the way to count. Leadership and the way to count, you know, Kukola and Kunguma Gutu and Guba, Kagame. No bow it on the Langum. I pay tepa. Buy as a band by the funny paper strut in the social bow. How pet of Nago Vagarbu petem? So, you know, my single map of Wingo Mega Echo. Get Ninga Tindy Chong Uba and the ends when we president Uba debate champion as a joker. Snow must palapa. O put to lay over and the clean audit. Say, Gunne. O take home a clean audit without compromising service delivery, which means that is possible. Leadership, Gale. National Mabo Bekundu is right to Must pin the snowman. What about must pala by forty three? You owe our tambo. Yeah, go ahead and tell say, I see you. You owe our tambo and your ass. You want to get who pass a lama man, a mass Muslim man, a tongue, a door. I get come to service of must follow a mass in a door. O book a bell like Kinel Ranga Dolo, O Cabella. Ah, we are seven and the way. Ufa Kungene Panga, first of November. Sisa court in Alamaspala, Pansa Pezu, Lusrutan, and equity, Blishes, Nabaniki, Sialua. You are Tambia forty three. Yes. I call and Gendaba Nayo, Nofaku, Goga Petumaspala, Ibeny. Yen a gang and funnel. Yen Venti? Can't shoot me at the fuck. Tem Liber no women, Dimon Fonella, a Sandungan, and that if I go for it, one million up of Lomas Palayaco, a director go up in a farang by Yako. What to fuck behind the asthma devices, I wish I like Landa, Yaros, I pata. That's only discussion I've had with him. Both Abanda Bashupai, when the quick window is the finance, Uma Dolono Yan Hatting. Bam Nigiti, Bam Makakutu, Gla forty three Fak. What you come on? Ma that is our shin down, man. The Tunugan Gutaha. Only Tunugail and Galendo investment. Yes, is all. Tandy calculator within this reach, as you say. Uh, e project basis villa within this region, yes, uh, uh, Alfred Zone uh, are worth seven billion as project basis villa. Oh, oh, no zone as the five billion. Kukwenye and Funukaleo. Any S is up as announced and announced a two billion M Zunvu would them a dollar for Kundi Pinga Pelioga. Ah, Indias. Ah, Indias. And from what I can say, like it, do it. But what I can say, let it. Indians are clear. You are poor. Who could mend water affairs? No treasury. But I'm back on you. But I'll take some of your baby. To figure out about what you're doing. Then I'm also. 
There are two dams we're going to build there. There's what is called the social part of it, which is for a community of Nagaspitane distribution. There's a commercial part which is going to be utilized for agriculture and for hydro. Now, Abantu Bam Nabaga Water Affairs, Bam Bindlilen, the Bakogisana, Bam Babu, when the RFP, Bekela in private sector, a funding, but we are an incumbent in China. A company in China, each booty, Uti Bansani Hydro, eighteen billion D. Hm. Where Nahulment was a fucking fifteen percent and eighteen billion up front. Mna Dili Company, the only Bolege Lima, China, Yale remaining eighty five percent. That came Nagai as your banana republic. Suzy Obolego Langama, if Amy am a Chinese Mali, Sne sovereign rating Tina as a country. Enzeg Long, at Amban Lemma Li El Dama Long until you greet your. Sisala kange malika khulumende ka kwaba. Yeah, well. In stages, dear, that's why in Tetanga, two billion in Google. The first phase is the social one, two billion. Then the second phase is a hydro site, Kupa, it turned the a private sector, okay? A power station there. So the first phase is the Commercial part, lead dama, ubanga baba rate in get distribution go, but there's a view from the treasury officials that our fundamental problem is not a water shortage but a distribution problem. Right? So ubakonjalo, masses in the parallel were working on the details along the dia. God and the Tuklonyak Zayo, say a kalang a first guy print, take my king one, my king one a kupi tender and go. Ubabantu bako banga akala, no banga akala, no match as long as first invoice in Zaifuma na April. Yeah? So, si akubageti ya ngela dam. Ewana ke, indo yungkulu kwa 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 a office in Gamma Hashulunga Pumna Strip. And as long as one girl does as I will have to cut a strip was also as for my office in here. So that is true. I mean, Lendel Dama would tell you guys this lying arm in figure one, but sell like a house in Balanga, eat all nuns and nuns to booze our band to Bam Nabanga treasure. But what about payment culture and all of those things? That is true. Ford but as a phone was cooper when in those funnels, cooper buyers mode. Who translate to Funuma Tulu to Mala Etarashish Baba Funyanini Vaba? It says that to Bana, so that is expand and a Ford engine plant a buy. So Funus demands as motor and an engine they to Mr. Funupa. We live a little bus to translate. You know, it threatens when we translate in Galadenza. If Ford was going to bring us another investment of 1.6 billion then for electric cars, we might lose London and like a daily daily car transnet. Instead, Baba na malu basing a church alas in Sias Baba na malu spying it is okay la po tepa yes a moto. Ka sita te strip. Eh? Ta te strip. Au pet. Not as wrong, oh God. <laughs> Not as wrong, oh God. The Kalela Parliament, but seeing this tribunes are started as wrong. The Chogu public accounts, who scope. That public accounts, the authorities are going to be able to do it. 
Nani ndi kole leka ndi stati. Ngoba, isita. Then, that kwa 28, FMS pa. Right? And the kwazu, you roll out ngoba. If service provider, kukum teto nifuala ndi hapo ndi ule isita. And the point is, you sit. Did you minister or call on Magan Nig exemption? You sit. Uma is sit and the point is, you minister can Nig exemption. Ndimo on an audit query. A decision, yeah, about to procure, but the man is really come the money audit query. That is a good scope. So, see, the boy can go as an account to twenty thousand. The thousand point is, the service provider. This is the upper one that charges and this was defend. Kabantu mabenga nzi imite to engumko bogo service deliver. Well, nam pa bende no office kan zige procurement. Oh, ibisogolis. Umzaga lo transnet ufunu i i i i locomotives ga transnet transaga zaza kwa chenela electric. Ko ufunu ga fag engine. Ufunu kutwa maga yego tender. Uza of money tender yego bombardia o o yego engine o ifaga we tender. What an electric? Why you want a plum tree? Um, zaga lo das la dot. Uba ndifuna la dot. Ingu kaka uba ndi akonba. E inga sen asonde le na gumuka. Well, funa ngongo bende soko la ndos ni. Ma funa kinde le ba ma dimu funa nuka. Um teto ngandi blo. Inde na nje funa ga dini dini gwe inle le yo ma poenda every SMT tree. So, you sit again, you can go to the phone again. I'm going to enter the data on cyber security. Get 12 of August. Trans of Shah. Get 12 of August. East South African repent was hacked. The Reserve Bank was hacked on the 12 of August. By Bona and Gokwa, Bobate be busy. Aba be to a security cluster, Aibonanga. Kufona FBI, America, ifona la i hawks, iti pangi enu, ya heko. Uwebwani ndele, esi vele nga ya gulizu. Kwa dwa strega ini na gonga ati na spete ilipa. So, we need, ifu ndia mnangu ndia vala di enza ushalaba, Landi to do I land or did must be number three? Magas image among number three. In Magi can go Uti Utia Ah Uti Ah Utega Logwena. We are we are Ziga. We candidate. Go go tell what out Teta way not the way that what I answer. Go by later I can leg or is a by legacy of Numta. I'm changing by candidate. I am the guy. The guy is the best. I want to go to the Akela office. Where you bring, even if you don't bring all your 39 municipalities, a slate in metro, net district, clearly not so. It district guy is Iran. He is a bit. He is in the town. He is a black man. And if he is in the town, he is a candidate. He is a. Asusu yenza na we lendo ngo we candidate we asutin we ande kore sapa kanzo shano uti ubu wini le ubu wini le ngo chanya ruza wenzi rishafu la kakon banza usala kufunza vanda kutoa la pe Eastern Cape ni yanda enjoy enkos manza le fansi skat. Another round of applause. Oyazi, Queen Timbend, who she left. Quick policy conference, the man is done as a county. Titikuzo Chongan Mogotin, Tazai Kima Itol, Dimacheleni.
Dimacheleni, Goba, Candy Trima, Funagutra, Gumsevens Wain. As an mamma, as an Machelas and Gumman, I did not deliver the hotel, Sakal Wensing Hall. That it was a good young man. Can Tatela Chalaka is come. Tis our no two sons in Kalanana. Tis our no two, so can Kalun Machel and Angale Chalaka is come, is and the Vango Fubor Banzauti. Saifuna la match. Gosma Tiba. That was a lovely presentation, I must say. We are in Mogola, Matiba Lent. That, that's, that's, that's how we approached it. We are approaching in Mogola, but it's loaded. The Tanda Lendo, Yokba. Seba biza maspala benzin dwezin. Clean audit, but without uh, compromising the service deliver. Because I think, kuzo funa gasi gati lendo clean audit. Ibonaga le na pay grounding. Um, the last meeting of the no no AG um, was exactly dealing with that. Kage Klazo, Chief of Pastor Buffalo City, Lily Klazo, I up. That twenty nine per cent. Capital funding, Kate twenty nine per cent. Udi and Mukonap, who comes la Faku, Princess Faku, Kona Pentley. Um, Yafunaga, DM now a Chief Whip. Kazoi Pendu, Lalet. I have now guess bees were so he pinned to La Lendo Faco. Baguteni Kunjea Epaphalocit, Codas Trade twenty nine percent, Emaline a coy. Em Banya Funage Kulendo Baguconi Naga DM now a chief whip. Ninaga must then represent Maspal and Nanding the Debuchaya province. The Tedang Maspal as a Buffalo City from its ten points Salk. Funa no pendula Macabane somewhere. Nafia Nim got a girl who speak a canifer by Buffalo City, Galadated Lay, by Nafuna. Thank you very much, uh, Matiba. Now I'm going to talk about Matiba, uh, Minister of Finance, Kale presentation. Um, are we ready for the president of Salga? This is our Tata break after the premier. This is our Tata break. Um, uh, here are municipalities of the Eastern Cape. Kuten no premier ipagamal ko kuto mongamel. Over to you, uh, President. Slalo, Mpati Nkubo, and the as the provincial chair Uti Mandilinda and an opremia Babu Kuba Uti Kukwin definitely communicated the opremia Uye Gekfuchan Ogota you communicate Masi Bulele El Tuba Lis Nis Nigeloma 
ukuqala manikhahlele kubantwana begas lo mhlaba sikuwo sinyathele kuwo ngumhlaba wobukhosi bakuthi ngoko ke abantu abamnyama benzelwe ukuthi bahlale kwelizwe la kuthi likhokhelwe izinkosi zakuthi kubaleke luthi sizikhahlela um sikhahlele unduna nkulu okanye inkulu mbuso yephondo lalapha eastern cape eh na ku understand ukuthi ni zaqala ngenkosi ndiye kunduna nkulu kuba kunduna nkulu khethiwe eh inkosi zenzelwe ukuthi ziphile kweliso eh zona eh umphathiso wezemali uh, umphathiswa wezobukhulumende bobambisana nensebenziswano apha ephondo lase Eastern Cape INC members of Salga has gone up ne PC ya Salga ngokubanzi administrative leadership ya Salga starting from the acting CEO CFO and uh, chief operations officers as corner nabanye abakhona ngokubanzi ubukhokheli be unions esijonge ukuthi sisebenzisane nazo ukubheka phambili ukwakha ubukhulumende njengoba isalga ibilonja iprogram yayo ethi asishoke let's say it iprogram yayo ejonge ukusebenzisana nesizwe ukuzisaya inguqu kusizwe sakuwethu and lenguqa ngeke siyifumane ngaphandle ukuba sisebenzisane sibambisane simuve ngamthelo omnye iyo le nto ke isalga isitsho njalo mandisho mawethu ukuthi siyakuvuyela ukuthi sibe lapha um sithethisane nani kule PMA yenu ya la Pestin Keep elandela ezinye i PMA ezinins esezikhubile apha emzansi Africa zimbalwa ke kodwa izinto engase ke sizibeke ngqo kwezi zinto zonke ezithethweyo apha into yokuqala endinqwene la ukuthi ndisho ukuthi apha ekuhambeni kuguqula omasipala sibenze omasipala babantu usuke kumasipala ngokwekhokhelwa ngokwebala nangokuhlala kwendawo esihlala kuzo ngokwahlukaneyo kwabakho ububheke bheke ke bokujonga ukuthi abamasipala xa sibaqokelela sibabeka ndawonye ingaba lo process iza kubiza mali na yaba bheke bheke ke zange sikwazi esina namhlanje sa struggle ishayo ukuthi sijongane nabo ngqo emehlweni iyo ke le nto simane sisithi siyeva kuthethwa isilungu esithi equitable share and the question esingasoze esingasange siyibuze ukuthi how equitable is a equitable share in an unequitable society that has history of development and in the same equitable share how do we then talk about size of the population and size of the economy and expect ingcobo maybe a supply of labor to urban areas but the allocation to it ibe ngcinci as abantu abahlala phaya ngqo eqala in any other rural area so kukho it it disjointment of a thought process as we establish aba masipala in fact that is why bendisitsho pha kudiya ndivile ukuthi xa isithetha esithi uyahamba eh uthi ke masi vume ukuthi a left i exit yabantu abazi candidate a right ngugqudululu lomuntu wonke ongwe iyo candidate so xa kukho i event ekufuna siphumile kufuna abantu abazi candidate baphume a left ndithi ke pha kubo wabini no noma diba umhlambi into ebalekile efuna siyenzile yokuthi efuna sidibanise ingcobo neqala senze umasipala omnye 
Umatiba ke uya contest talento uti angege ilunge uguti ngobo iti chanzo nekala kubaba nwa sekala banga baba telela baba vyelele baba pate kakubi so i contest ke kona ke pitun kwa wabin but literally into sisa mui teta yoguti klendo ulando umatiba bete tangayo zange kubeko i process iyo ukutibani sa i graves as mbini Sikringe u one one uza kusnika u two. In an amalgamated municipalities. And the reality of the matter, Ukbonisa Guti Lond or Zanga si tringe kagule. This pumozayo is sis bona so two gayo. Guku. Kuba legi lege ukuti si chongemva. Sibuze ukuti kube kupi aposembe corner. Kaku bioganya si kuti za corner. Mpati Nkubo, on behalf of Salga, let us express our gratitude to be given this opportunity to reflect some few thoughts about the journey that we have traversed. What we are always calling is that we are talking to a fifth administration of local government practitioners in the country. And it is important as we take these podiums and platforms to communicate what we think strategically we can do to improve the service delivery to our communities. And that is why I'm delighted to the presentation that was made here of the digital something. It's a very good thing um, that I think we, we need as a local government to grab, to grab that with both hands maybe provincial government and the leader in this province must assist us on this. As I addressed the NCOP on its program, taking parliament to the people, when the president of the republic, His Excellency President Ramaphosa, I made the following points that the constitution of the republic entrenches local government as a fully fledged sphere of government in a system of cooperative governance in which the three spheres are distinct, yet interrelated and interdependent. Whilst we quite often, through parliamentary com communities, outreach programs, see the numbers of the national cabinet, parliament, provincial executives, and all provincial legislatures descend to engage the people and the real people that wish to see lives being changed. We must accept this is a conversation that with ordinary people from a local community, it's where the tire hits the road. A space where the will of the people finds most expression through the election of a mayor, executive mayor, a speaker, a chief whip, members of the executive committee or mayoral committee and ordinary councillors. A space where the rubber hits the road, a space where councillors and public office bearers cannot hide from ordinary people under the guise of blue lights, bodyguards and high electrical fence walls. A space where there are no office hours and yet very little appreciation and reward. A space where those speaking from a privileged position inconveniently to pass the buck, if not pass the blame. A space where public service is a curse, where the criminal elements visit us at night when we are at our most vulnerable time when we are spending time with families and loved ones, to eliminate attempt to scare and intimidate us. A space where our obituaries are read too often. A space where counselors as dedicated warriors and people's servants reside, dedicating their lives to serving others selflessly devoted and fearless in putting the interest of their people above their own, had their lives cut short 
And here we are reminded of many councillors that have been killed in this province and elsewhere. A space where many of us continue to take responsibility, public office as reliable and committed leaders, despite the case. Program director, I used these words in that platform. And I want to similarly use this platform to call on collective leadership present with us today, including Honorable Premier, the Minister of Finance, and other leaders from levels of government. That we can win this battle holding one another. It is a sad story for councillors to have a fear to operate in the environment in which they're supposed to render service to our communities. It is indeed a very serious matter that all of us in various spheres of government, we have to pay a particular attention. And I think I must accept that the President of the Republic and the leadership of the NCOP finally agreed to have an open debate in the NCOP, which it was hosted in the last week, where we debated about the threat that is faced by local government practitioners, where we see on daily basis Municipal managers and officials are hailed with bullets and be killed in front of their kids. Where councillors have been taken away or killed with their kids. You will agree with our considered view that not much has been done to diligently give effects to Section 154 support, but instead observed an unprecedented state of inappropriate evocation of Section 139 interventions. Some perpetual since 2004. That's the reality. Municipalities, many of them, probably in the number that you give, Madiba, most of them, they have been perpetually under Section 139 in, since 2004. Whilst others have not been assisted with capacity since 2021 elections, instead directly imposed with Section 139 intervention, even instances where Section 154 support interventions will be the most appropriate type of intervention, the Tsobaotla, for instance. 10 months from the office, differences amongst those that have been elected as councillors, evocation of Section 139, and the likelihood, Madiba, is this one, which we must repeat. When the provincial government in Houting took a decision to disestablish Etswane, our argument was that don't resolve political challenge through legal instruments. Because the likelihood is when you use the legal instrument in resolving political challenge, you are going to have the same group coming back and destabilize municipalities continuously. It is our considered view that the challenge facing us to redress poverty, inequality, and underdevelopment can only be addressed through concerted efforts by government in all spheres working together and integrated, integrating our actions in the provisions of services and development and services and development of our communities. Ultimately, the three spheres together provide effective, transparent, accountable and coherent government for the public as a whole. So we like the issue that you raised, Mati, but that local government cannot succeed alone. In fact, by the way, the creatures and yourself participated in the negotiations. I think what it preoccupied in your mind is that we can succeed if we hold one another's hand and work together as a team, and we can make difference to our people. In light of the constitutional principle of cooperative governance, it will be remiss of me not to be all-inclusive in our approach. Let me then also use the opportunity to say to my fellow councillors that with the foundation that has been laid since our election just over a year ago, we need, we indeed have a responsibility, amongst others, to ensure a sense of urgency in the implementation of the task as directed and entrusted to us since the November elections 2021. And this trust, uh, task, we can perform it 
by first be exemplary. For instance, we start the meeting late today. The meeting was scheduled for eight, and the meeting was st started at half past eight. And that falls far away from being exemplary leadership. And I think we need to, to change and have a particular behavior that it will help us. In the presence of our public office bearers from other spheres of government, I call on this leadership collective to serve the communities we, we are elected to, to serve. Honestly, diligently, selflessly, not only with this place as the center of responding to the weaknesses, but more so place as the epicenter of local government leadership that positively contribute towards, re towards rebuilding trust and confidence of society in sphere of local government. It is not argued that the trust between the voters and the local government has diminished. We need to turn the tide and turn the narrative against it. Let us rise to the challenge of changing the narrative on the image and reputation of local government. A game changer in this term of office is insistence and decisive consequence management and accountability management as the hallmark of restoring the credibility of local government leadership. It is not pleading poverty and increasing calls for more money. However, genuine the need may be, that will shift the believability of our intentions, but consistent actions that inspire people who have lost hope and confidence in the promise of our constitution and local government democracy. It is the need to prove to our people that municipalities do care and act responsibly to address community concerns. It is when the appointed professional and competent managers to run municipal administration that people will notice the difference in the attitude of municipal staff. It is when we remain vigilant and act decisively on instances of maladministration on corruption in our municipalities that confidence would be restored in our municipalities. It is when we tackle collective responsibility to enforce discipline and decisive actions when the Auditor General issues a disastrous auditor report against our municipalities and holds the executive accountable. What will change the image of local government is when, as a councillor, we allow our newly empowered impact to play their effective oversight role and mandates unhindered. This does not need a Salka provincial government or national government to point out these transactions, transgressions. Yet, they remain ignored as we more often than not compromise our commitment to fight maladministration and corruption. Program Director, it is our task to provide a service to our people as it is a task of the people to play the role that they're supposed to play, which to pay the rates and taxes to municipalities. It is our task to coordinate our efforts and actions in making sure that our people do participate and making sure that their lives have been changed for better and by the trust that they bestowed on our shoulders. As I conclude, let me once more leave all of us as public office bearers and senior officials from all spheres of government with these words, and I know uh, the Premier of the Eastern Cape, uh, he says uh, for us to achieve our objective, we must have a sense of madness. Thomas Sankara once said, you cannot carry out fundamental change without certain amount of madness. In this case, it came from non-conformity, the courage to turn your back on the old formulas to, to, to old formulas, the courage to invent the future. Besides, it took the madmen of yesterday for us to be able to act with extreme clarity today, and I hope we want to be amongst those madmen 
to change the conditions faced by our communities and work collaboratively and work collectively in changing our lives. And we have opportunity to change that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, President. Um, it says we must be, there must be some level of madness. Um, the Sankara analogy. Uh, I'm going to call Councillor Kaba to come and join me up here. Um, they ask about Kumdong, I found you a little in the inside. Um, is a Mamukaba as the president was talking. Oh, what man, what you feel? As the president was talking. I saw somebody coming in like the former chairperson of the of Salga in the province. Um, are you called Mr. Koyo now or <laughs> uh, former come again? Oh okay. Uh, Alderman Ka Koyo was coming in as the uh, president was uh, finishing his, his welcome. Welcome, um, former chair of the province of Salga. Over to you, Mamukaba. Uh, thank you, uh, Chairperson. Uh, to our Honorable Minister of Finance, uh, Premier of the province, MEC of Cocta, uh, President of Salga, all NEC members, uh, and our chairperson of Salga, and all PEC of Salga, and all officials of Salga. To our traditional leaders, that are present here, all members of municipality and all trade unions and all distinguished guests, uh, I greet you all. Um, ladies and gentlemen, my job is not a lot, uh, but an important one to introduce the guest speaker of the day. Uh, the person I'm going to introduce is a very well known to you, is an est esteemed leader in government. Uh, as a leader in government, he created an environment of economic growth and activities in the province of the Eastern Cape. Uh, several in, uh, true, oh, sorry, and activity in the province of the Eastern Cape through several intervention that include the revival of economic hubs. Uh, enhancing the integrity and capacity of the state, which led to the Eastern Cape recordings, the most clean audit since 1994, and stabilizing local and provincial government. Many of us know how to, many of us know how to involve Uh, sorry, many of us know how involved he is in getting it come to resolving people's problems in our areas. 
uh, that we lead. He was born in the location uh, of Debecha at Ngobo District Town. He matriculated at Lekua High School. Uh, he attained to become in accounting, I'm sorry, in economics at Forte University in Alice. He was a member and a leader of SASCO, and he rose in the youth movement to become the president of SRC in 2000 at Forte University. Uh, in 2002 and 2005, he was appointed as a chief of staff of economic affairs under former MEC Enoch Gotongwan. In 2008, in 2008, he became the deputy chairperson of. ANC Youth League of Eastern Cape. Uh, from 2009 to 2017, uh, he was serving as a provincial secretary of ANC in the Eastern Cape. From 2017 up to date, uh, he is currently serving as provincial chairperson and had been re-elected during a May 2022 Provincial Conference of the ANC. When he was elected as a Provincial Chairperson in 2017, he was appointed as MEC of Economic Affairs until 2019 general elections. After general election of 2019, he was appointed as a Premier of Eastern Cape Province until 2024 general election. Uh, in conclusion, he has been serving for 13 years in the NEC of the ANC, the highest making decision body of the organization in between the conferences. Uh, his leadership skills and abilities have earned him a nomination as a candidate for deputy president position in the 55th <laughs> conference of the National Elective Conference. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the delicious and darling of the Eastern Province, Eastern Cape Province. Uh, to give us delicious food of thought in, the, in this wonderful event. Over to you, darling of the Eastern Cape. <laughs> Candidate, yeah. Gogo was Kali Oyandi Kumbuza. When I lend over was this one in my desire, the Ambi Pele Paga was Kaluti. We shall lend our eighty was a work or two thousand and five. Hofu, Kukotwenyindo, then is I God. And that Kapazele against the Namba, Tandibular Office. Kukundendi, Bonileo Apa, Etetang and Degutua, low concentration span. It program director Lendo. Those are people with short attention span, and they may have trouble focusing on task for any length of time without being easily distracted. 
a short attention span can have several negative effects, including poor performance at work or school, inability to complete daily tasks. I'm, I'm raising Lando because there are people who, who are here who took monies from the municipalities, saying that they are coming to a, an annual PMA, but they spend too much time outside. One, two, three, Bahamba, Bayoma Pandle, Bavule, e bilateral meetings. I understand that when I'm at Tiba. One, two, three, if no Program director, uh, the speaker of uh, Buffalo City, Ogwangu uh, Deput Chairperson of Salga in our province, the clergy, even though say I'm Bileo Kaka, Bishop Skit, the president of Salga and the National Executive Committee members of SALGA that are here. I was told that there are about five. The SALGA PEC, led by the Executive Mayor of Owar Tambo District Municipality, Councillor Ngondwana, the Minister of Finance, Minister Kodongwana, the <laughs> members of the Provincial Executive Council. I've seen the MEC for Cogta here, MEC Williams. Um, our esteemed uh, mayors, speakers, and chief whips. The House of Traditional Leadership, led by Uncle C. Ukwemgel. HODs, uh, MMs, CFOs, and all other government officials that are here. CEOs of our SOEs, if it's called as COIL. Our distinguished guests uh, and speakers that are here, and I would like to. Uh, Singly acknowledge you, Dr. Ngaba. When I listened to the presentation you made uh, in the Eastern Cape Provincial ICT Summit last week in East London, uh, I thought it's going to be important that we see you here coming this side as well. I invited mayors, I was invited in that summit. I decided to extend the invitation to all mayors, uh, but most of them didn't attend, whatever reason, short notice, logistics. But I just told myself that uh, you can run, but you cannot hide. So as long as uh, Dr. Ngaba said he is willing and available to give us his valuable time to share his wealth of uh, knowledge on the ICT space, I thought it was going to be important that he comes here. Thank you very much, uh, Chair of Salga in the province, to agree. Uh, program um, It's actually after realizing the, the importance of what you said, we like simplifying this into just mere ICT. What I liked about this more is this broader understanding which uh, should help all of us here to broaden our horizon uh, on the digital economy. I know as a province, we are already piloting 
uh, uh, technology on animals, particularly Kumbuzolo and Mount Frey, because of the challenge of um, stock theft in those areas. So we've been working on this, was, it has been presented to me a couple of times, even before I became a premier. I thought it's important to, to look at this. Uh, so, well, let me also acknowledge the leadership of uh, SAMU here. Uh, I think all the unions uh, as COI. And in Bonanga, we should do our cocked. Quarant in Bonilla, we should treasure. Uh, and in Bonanga, who chapters in web body, Yagua Exec, Corand in Bonile, who CEO, Wagua Exec. And Gon Gefaguba Ungado Seku with Lotus and Jago to Exec Agate Tang. So con Kunganjaloga, you body am Walea and Yaitat Mandin Bulisege, Nonke, Galenzasa, Esondela, and Minimacand. Madiba, we really appreciate the time you spent with us over the last three days. I know you are also pressing on time. We came into the office for this sixth administration in 2019. One of the things that we thought that we should just simplify for the province to turn around the socio-economic outlook uh, of our province was to begin to say, let's stop thinking in abstract. Let's just to be simple. So I was quite impressed to see this presentation being so simplified that we're done here. You see, like technology, uh, it is understand, but in Facebook, we don't appreciate and understand Facebook from another different um, understanding altogether. The Digang of Paco Provincial Administration, Nalapa with local government. It's about legal to understand the Indo macroeconomics. But long time with macroeconomics, go back home, my Dubano president. Long time with macroeconomics. Now, Greba Usenzela, young law. Scanning and uh, mapping. A to pre preoccupation from provinces going to local should really be about microeconomics. So, part of the reason that we are unable to crack the whip properly, so long as Funu Ted doesn't get it, she end up saying, I understand, but we found our sense and don't it. So, we're trying to inculcate uh, that understanding and get things done. Because in the microeconomics, this is where we are really dealing with issues of firms and factories. President, Sifuni factories, but I come to this is Sanjani, this is Vulanjani's factories, but Gululu's dead, Uba Sifuni factories. So, the more we focus on that space, the better for us. Then we will see factories go to war, factories go to Fort Jackson, Dimbaza, Zivola. Because no municipality is going to open a factory, no government is going to open a factory. But all of us working collaboratively will be able to bring and lure investors into that uh, space. 
Yona kele office usi kabi sanga yo. Sasa ivola ekuwa yeye digital office. And if you notice, basically, you conceptualize a fago as you live from here to Pisho. Kukuba on the clay level, ndogo kuba. How do we set up that unit before kupere lenyang? Isi ngai dunzo kuzams baliwa. Man, this is again, Oguna. This is Oteta Nan. Kule Assemble. Pelilege landi oba be ni kofa kofa kam nanti ni ni pembarize wa ni stini go minister. No, no, no. Kona ndi anibona. Ni sena baashle, so ba kritisi sela ba basi delegates, ape bushin. Emlanje nguelo, kuse wa chonge kanga, no ma ilendo i delegate. Aya zgalo, indo tani zikulu bo anenda zngabonoa. Program Director, we, we appreciate the invite to come and share a few words in this August Salga Eastern Cape Provincial Members Assembly. Today is uh, International Day of Solidarity with the Palestinian people. We will all remember that the people of Palestine remain victims of constant attacks by Israel forces that have led to the displacement of civilians and created socio-economic hardship. On this day, we add our voice to calls for the realization of the two states of Palestine and Israel living in harmony as neighbors to build a conflict-free future in that region. I must congratulate uh, Salga PC for the decision to bring this assembly to Alfred Nzo district, the home of President General Owar Tambo, the home to Tata Uganyele, Le Bridge Ilapa Matiba, Sizawiya Kaela We have made a proposal to municipality, to all affected stakeholders, to a minister, that itu yongo mnye otata bogu kibela kwa batata bepondo revolt, ebe sandu mbega up. A really, really, really unsung hero walapa embizan. When you go back and look at his biography, you realize the sacrifices that these old people have made to be where we are today. And they've never demanded anything from us, uh, those who are now enjoying privileges of being free and liberated. I was very touched when I attended that funeral, looking at Amajoni, Omkondo, Esizwe, uh, people who really, really worked. He was actually a secretary uh, of that uh, committee. So la bridge, Sifuna, Yazwe Ngolotlob, and the minister has responded to that. They are really considering we need a serious bust of him so that Aban to Bayaz Lindao, Nembaliayo, Kuba Kaha, Jenga John Lom Condoises, and then Bayaz and about old John Lom Condoises, Baba Uteta and ICT, and Jenga John Lom Condoises, Uguze Um Condoises, Ube Corners, Kal. Wa conceptualize wa apa ngenga yala nguzahil oganye pondo revolt. That's what led to the leadership of the ANC to decide uh, going to that route. Lo umas palake sikuye wase wini matikizela Mandela ukwa likaya lika mama uwini Mandela. Chengba bechilo apa 
Umeya Wale district. I hope being in the Owar Tambo's home region will inspire all of you colleagues to contribute positively to discussions for the duration of this assembly because the communities you serve yearn for services and development. Alfred Nzo and Owar Tambo, Minister of Finance, are the two most poorest district municipalities in the country. Enyengu number one. Enyengu number two. Kukulandilala na guasu. This simply means that something drastic must be done to change the situation. It can't be business as usual. Again, when we came in in 2019 for this sixth term, we took a decision consciously that as provincial government, let's look east. Not because this is where, in terms of analysis, we made the current government has been massively, massively voted from. Our tambo, in terms of population, is bigger than Nelson Mandela, is bigger than uh, Buffalo City, our tambo. It's 1.4 million population, yeah. Followed uh, by those metros. Uh, Alfred Nzo accounts for about 800,000. So when you look at it over the last 28 years, we have done less as government to serve people of this part of the province because of our own economic development model that were adopted, anchored on SZ, IDZ and SZ. We established Kuha, we established uh, East London. And Londo, even though we are complaining about the migrant labor system, which we inherited from the colonial and apartheid arrangement, also further exacerbated that situation uh, by creating a conducive environment for uh, the inward migration, people living in rural areas, going to the urban centers. Whilst we're busy talking uh, too much about rural development, which we are not giving meaning uh, to it. So we thought it's going to be important. The area, Niguyo, this is where ANC is voted 100% by every word. What is Alapa Slalo Zing? 106. All words. No one will give by election here. As a building, we'll probably be long always near in Dow. See, convince our band. And people here have less benefited in terms of those. Because Bona Babonu Matlogo, Kabe Bona Umban, Bebona Manz, a cow guy, a manaba, Kamananga Biko. Babonu Matlogo, Kabe Bonin Len, Ezo Nagaliswe, Ziz Kukula, because they never had roads before. Go on, you go to Mamuno Simo. Tayo by Indian Azaga and Tang Banza by you. You want to be a consultant. Part of project is a social responsibility that I was facilitating. Zazila pa wunda to accept kolobi. So to lop konge konenge le kolobi. But now, if you fly over this area, you see the road network that gets into our communities for purposes of serving our people. Yes, in lela zonagel, madib. We are yazi ke lendo funu vusele shngal. Mandi yege koloslo. Kodwa indogogba si declare she disaster. Si lande limited. Sends a submission kwa kocta national. Apo kuto mas submitte kon. Kodwa tiso mas pal declare she declare she but declare she mas pal bonk. Si submitte kwa kocta national. But u kocta national kaya u submitte kwa treasure. And I fag Eastern Cape for whatever reasons that I can't really fathom. The Ogo Tuswang Minister of Finance, Kayete Tapa, a parliament, we meet them 10 budget policy statements, over Onegi 3 billion, EKZN, Onegi 3 billion, Western Cape. But all along, when you go on, Siteta and Disaster, Ebete, Eastern Cape, Nasa KZN. Oti gang of Nagland in Bosba, while Lewi Fumene Ungan de Long President, because there was no paperwork and a document, she called him Tumele, 
young and damn nigger yagdal, a young old January, damn nigger nango, was president, the Mpanele letter, Cuny and I. I inject eyes out long. Because as in the last time again, as long as the most sure disaster would have fixed them, because we costed that into just above two billion. As soon as three billion. Uh, is just a mistake. In the mind, the provinces equals go to a province, to fix the disaster. Eastern Cape could end the rural bridges. October. 800 million. Need my spend between now and March. No fun up in the good Eastern Cape. I spend anger mal. It's jiggy see. Because I go out say yes. I go back again. Net. I go go go. I'm a lamb. It's really involved. Every malik on again. We go to South Africa. We go October, November. Yes, or rural bridges, which we knew when the year started. So he can't do fun long. So I'm not going national again. Let us say bands. We have now got a son. They're my name. Total Tilipa. We're national. You should remember, uh, colleagues, uh, that our tambo sounded the alarm bells about the difficulties that would confront uh, in government when he said, and I quote, Comrades, you might think it is very difficult to wage a liberation struggle. Wait until you are in power. At that stage, you will realize that it is more difficult to keep the power than to wage a liberation war. People will be expecting a lot of services from you. You will have to satisfy the various demands of the masses of our people. That cannot easily adapt. But Oartambo knew even then that there will be something called the Fourth Industrial Revolution. Part of the reason that Ukuma, uh, when he was a president, really emphasized Indo yes call. Inga gumbi bande ANC, no guni kwa banda bango mama matu, but the ANC immediately took over, opened gates for all of us to go to school. It's difficult at this day and age in the back of the Tetwanga deployment, Kutwe U Councillor Agana ye U grade 12 after 28 years. Sipete in fundo sa y vulala yama hala. Kosu kwemen. Fnea si kolka in wogo a capacity that singa wazu measure a une capacity. Padum zuacha a uchi. Order mo new that will face these difficulties. Don't complain. People are demanding these services from us. Because they've never had something like this. We are compared to none. And I got on a new whole menu as I was a part of South Africa other than the ANC. When the ANC messed up our people, I can tell you this country will be finished. I could put you on the populism, I'm an anarchy, because I'm prepared. Whole menu is something else. The wise words by our time have become a reality in our country if we look at what is happening in the recent local government election results which have introduced to us coalition arrangements that are mostly not working. Since our power of section 12 pa and Nelson Mandela. Go back to 2016 to 2021. Kunga said, Jenzo, we couldn't spend more than half a billion on housing. Jemba Abandu, Besia and Nelson Mandela, Besuga, Ab, Kuzo Zonges, Ndao, Kuba, Ikuhang, Ab, 
is creating job opportunities. More factories are getting in there. In Koha, in the last two years, we had about 52, 53 operating factories. Now there are 14 new factories uh, on the pipeline to be commissioned in that space of Koha. Surely, people of Nushua, everywhere, Raymond Mklaba, uh, up to Ozangaba, Konobo, Uzangaba, Baza, we are pa. By your phone, Mr. Bethkabe Figapa, Bafika Bafun is in. Because the easier way for our people to have access with better shelter, Kubunda Zenzel Mukukwak, in the land of Lamdu, we in Pulagal Chat, Mdushumswak and Nicholas Hapang are saying, All right. So these are things that, as we do things and plan, we should be able to uh, do them much better than how we are doing this. That's why we have introduced. Uh, this uh, new uh, third SZ, the most successful SZ in South Africa, this is the Eastern Cape. It's a good story to tell. As the eco going in now. And Uguza Kwagabo, the same environmentalists that are blocking us in this wild coast, in this area where we are, that sends a land opa. What ye and I, let me tell you, Funayo. And if they had not insisted to make sure that it happens, we would not be having Kucha SZ we have today. So that kind of leadership uh, that is needed, Elishwage, it was Karia, we have better, but we have to go to the same uh, <laughs> Sisters New York. Our figure of Nebuquabulule, Kubenzima, is near his end. So these are things that um, people of Eastern Cape, when we meet like this, being uh, uh, stakeholders, it's important to, ref to reflect on. Put interests of our people before us. So my plea to all of us as leaders is to use the values of our tambo and his teaching as a motivation for all of us to be better leaders who are driven by only one thing, and that is service to the people and nothing else. We must remember that Oward Tambo and Nelson Mandela were very intelligent professionals who sacrificed their fledgling careers for a noble cause of struggle for liberation. Eva, Bakalebane Kari. Bazo wins a lendo yaband as a sacrifice. Tina Sifunukala Gulendo Yaband, sing in a carri. Sizo by a problem, gang go up a good revolution. Because if you don't have a career, during the period of everyone should be having a career, Uba will premier, Iban will premier, but you have a career. Because you can't have a career yet deployment. Thousands are loaned to Uzabali Chaba, Lomzabalas, Umzabalas, or Stetangao, Gumzabalas, or Kukula, or Bomba Band Bagut Bubengo, Gumzabalas, or Ku United Band Bagut, Gapa Wemi, Diasini, Nebal, Uku Kensegis, or Ukul Mende, and Dando, yes, Nins, Nenkubela Pambile Elizwe. I went there in Kubela Pambile Elizwe, passing an Iolet democratic dispensation. If we don't address the national question, we can't move forward as a country if we are not united as people of this country as well as as people of this province. You will say it better. When the unity relative as it is in this province started um, to show up, we've seen strides we've made to cover the lost ground. Because 
there's been a unity, relative as it is, and the center is holding. Tinagenguna, Sikawa in Donike, okay, Sibeg and Jaban to Pambil. Send the land or see Begelwe, Quiz Kundla. Sinik is Cogelo, Essing and I Capas. I want to go to the good dinner, send it twelve months. Ukobongan and the Tatuba will go on in your term. Gogus Quatang, we are figure, we cancel only twelve months, but Ubonagalisa impows a fatigue. Impa was a fat ticket and was Lulu's born. Was born a woman at Lone Pigua Clash. Then no Alban big clash would go out Kalong or eight when you figure half past eight or nine. Zimpa was a fat ticket. Dinny. And the revolutionary morality hinges on time. There's no revolution and no cook you and a panda go back to the clash. Young in the Bazan Clelos Calbon about to be underground, don't on cells before Bamba. Uba Bag to Iba Paya, Gulandao, get a shell till it was our Negu Passel till of Negupa, Gulandao, and also Uzu Bang Ban, Lo Tadala Passeloan, Kuba Nanyi into Iseno Wenzek, because you don't respect time. Ebe Pauka, Sibize Investment Conference, Matiba. About 500 people attended that conference. That is our Kalang or half past nine. Half past nine, every seat was occupied. Besing Abuzan. Now, Shaka Geneba Luisa, Inkokel is a no salk. Dim or Tagus, you are going to go to a holding room. That little president. Or eight, half past eight, we were seated here. Actually, no, eight. We were seated here with the president. From a protocol point of view, I am almost long. We have a president. When the land is a little bit, we have a president. We have a president. We president. We have a president. We have a president. We candidate. We have a process. I know that uh, many of you colleagues here, yeah, you are also delegates. I've been joking around this issue. But the warning, Tasibuya Pamadib, go join your opposition is our leg and the Gogba. EBZ resources is over and SBC and Gazopa. That's why the NGO here, the African National Congress, took a decision that every delegate must be registered by the ANC. ANC must find uh, accommodation for every delegate. Because we don't want to come back and answer these questions from the media and opposition when we will be made to account So as a word of caution, please look at your blind spots. I asked Valula and to Tawan to Begum Dota, Tipale Logolo Tal, Utian Mem. But it is that was all men was coincide Nalena into Nearborn. Program director, the current leadership of our local government sphere has been in office for almost 12 months following the 2021 November election. That means the honeymoon phase is over for you colleagues and we are glad that you are in the thick of things trying to turn around the negative image that is associated with our local sphere of government. You have developed a very rich program in terms of content for these three days, for, from, for, for this three day assembly. If your program is anything to go by, you should come out of here with the right answers for the challenges facing the local government sphere in our province. If you spend more time here, this is our at the end of these three days. We will see the value for money. 
When you assumed your res responsibilities after 2021 local government elections, we did commit to partner with you and support your efforts to fulfill electoral electorate mandate. We still stand by our commitment as provincial government to work with you because the local government sphere is closest to the people and must work efficiently for the benefit of the people. A female ICT conference, a private sector in the ICT space to solve all these problems. But Ukulmene was not there. So Ngabanda Bafunu Neda, Aba Zeni Solution Yo Ned, but Bafunu Neda, Abanda Banga Funu Ned. If I get my Tibana Lendu Teta Apa, ye support. I support is seven the Gumdo Ifuna I support. That's why I see support as in a Pelio, a one fifty four, one thirty nine A, one thirty nine B, one thirty nine C, Comas Pal, because if your attitude, your posture, suggest otherwise, that support becomes meaningless. No provincial government is interested to run municipalities. No national government is interested to run. Sia chapa, zezitu. Udi ngoguneza, agupindu bene nyi bedi, nubafune guse ungu meya. The traffic of calls and complaints that are coming to me as a premier, suggest that could we gap up your communication? Sine gap from the ward committee level, sine gap from um, ward councillor, CDWs, you go up. I mean, Gabanda, I'm a cause and like this, so I cash on whole men, and with stipend and salaries. But it's in a gap. That's why it's about number of our not that much all. Abanda baza uketi yoke la kuye da nukaza kansi loga nyiku meya loga nyiku MC loga nyiku lungu le Parliament. I end up being uye lo uli temba la band. The classifica kuhulmende classifeta ng'ee gender based violence and femicide uh, summits nezi nizi ndo ufumana ba kuhulmende uye guest. Sita bi electoral mandate is now. Part of the responsibility we must have, or part of the electoral mandate, is to build the social cohesion. I will support the civil society. It can't work like that. It can't work like that. It can't work Basically, crisis by national national summit. Kuko no president. Yagi ya amin tanga nisu. Ya amin summit ya banda by thousand and thousand. Sabambelela. Ez fube in South Nkengu. Inga kitu anu kitu. I mean government. Millions have been spent by government. But government can't take responsibility. We can't abdicate our responsibility to lead the society of South Africa's government. So this is serious. Colleagues, but if sine reputational damage, damage, was a problem, you bunga was we call the society go new delay. So these are real issues. The theme, as it has been quoted before uh, for this conference, is that, uh, and I quote, working cooperatively to recalibrate local government professionalization towards effective service delivery. Institutional agility and resilience, financial viability, sound, responsive, and inclusive governance. That's a theme. I You can't be agile if you don't respect time. Agility has got something to do with time. We must projectize our operation, how we work. We must have a sense of projects that we are running. We are running a project of five years, Fago. The term is a project of five years. That's why if nigga see appreciate the IDP in abstract. The IDP is a five-year strat plan. If nigga when I go so develop your what do you call it, uh, your uh, business plan, the annual program. 
SDIP, don't know, service delivery implementation plans. Yes. But that IDP must talk to the provincial development plan, because the EONA targets got 2030. The PDP must neatly dovetail to the NDP. As it could be in J, not as We've got targets. That's why if as it could, same thing being, as we go the long time, we as we as no go by officials, this is a low targets for purposes of performance bonuses. As we as, because we have got targets to meet five years, you must have moved from somewhere to somewhere. Umdano zero regular five years. Magati kai pila with five years. Ayas bumashu go uko na umdano bezo five years. We've got 2030 targets that we must meet. And local government, it's so crucial, it's so critical. Uteta apa, in passing, u kaha, kendek to where he lives. And then money I ask him. Ukulu mende utadi decision we province. So we are rolling out the broad um, uh, band uh, infrastructure. Dine calls the service providers. It says kashi. It's in a guazu kumba kumaspala because kumaspala cannot process those issues. Kula ICT summit. Omnusis otetapa or each other accountant. When the umzegel juxtaposing two municipalities, Umaspala was a great guy. Actually, Lamaspala was a great guy. Ahi um, ondo yapa, hindu ya lape Eastern Cape. Um, Teresa Lamaspala was a Western Cape. Ut um minister. E Buffalo City. Uh, you take um, 24 months to get the approval of rezoning. A Western Cape, you take 80 days. Uti omye, umlungu, o developer, yo onga landa, nandye nzwe pisho, ni ibona yo kiwa yang, umlungu, liya zenze lalo. Jembe si klako kuko kati ni dektua, yi pisho prising. Kumdo yo kaya, nchengos bugele, uso yonge zanti. Kuba stadeish kwe, boso kwa, onga masebe kakulmende, ako umonti, yi provincial department, mas yambe ziye pisho, kwe senta. So, but five million Genyang and Jalonja. But that goes over your funeral bank and walk as other buildings. We are Zaka, now that goes to Pisho Zincha. Tenas was Anga or kind of type of precinct. There's a conomad even a bit. Is a fire nom Zimvo, but lost it down. I don't do it to Zimvo. I mean, is the Don Jason Jalo, colleagues. So we've got to change the attitude, change the mentality, if we want to change the Eastern Cape. And it is that's where you are. A Google Messiah or Tile, or Zaufiga Abba, a Google isn't. We can't build the systems around individuals. Because when individuals are not there, systems collapse. We must institutionalize systems. We might be peripheral to the center, but we are the center of the periphery. See, this is we are in with speed. See, we are low number one, we are low number two on the ICT because of our attitude. Change the mindset. As soon as we minds up as gold, diamonds. But look at Cape Town, where it is. Every international company wants to go and set up its. Uh, head offices in Cape Town, because something has happened. When I was at Cape Town, I was at Cape Town, I was at Cape Town, and I was at Cape Town, and I was at 60 million, and I was at Cape Data Center, East London, SZ, and I was at Mauritius, India, coming here to land in East London. I was at Cape Town, and I was at Cape Town. What is it? The under sea cable, I was at Cape Town. It's a done deal. The massive impact of such projects to the economic development of our province. So it's important to understand that we are not going to do anything now without appreciating the so called digital economy in our province. This theme, colleagues, gives us hope that the fifth term of local government is turning the point for good.
ni asithembisa siyayaza ihlabi ngamisa kodwa ngibokeka ngathi le ndlela nicinga ngayo and listening to the input ka provincial chair where they already had a bilateral uh, i know means it was less than 30 minutes meeting salga and the premier Classify the meeting, what you slab? As is often and just demasit. Saying I treat her as a stepchild, so Salka, you know, the man is thing and a slibber, who was a stakeholder, and I'm that thing and over. You know what goes again to Gane? P, quasi what team? We want to work with you, solve problems. You are not going to solve problems alone and impose solutions to us. And the meeting within 30 minutes was done with clear kind of an action plan that it, what, what must be done between the, the Premier and the Salga in our province. You call in law. There are four fundamental elements where you need to focus on as the fifth term of local government. Those elements are service delivery, governance, leadership, and financial sustainability. So, could we take a speaker? Could we take a speaker? I don't know when between 16 and 20 of December. If we have a speaker, we will have a speaker. 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 We will have a water board. Now, Leo. Um, I know many people are reacting to what the minister has said, Minister of Water Affairs. But the attitude suggests that we need to build capacity in that uh, water service board to make sure that it rises to the occasion with all the challenges and weaknesses it has. Yeah, yes, Because it's catchment area. That's why you own a hundred million. Yell dam, little up, or to say, Eludeg at them. Put a milk cool of material, El Shell, no hundred per cent. No bagubale, no bagbala, and no hundred per cent. The man's the cool, the cool, Pablo or Dambogai. But a man's like a poom, well, a dam, Uguibandu. Because good old Maspala, Ongena Mali, Maga connect a man's a reticulator man's, a pegabandu. Ati lo manzi sele ere tichule itu wake ngoguna umaspala. Kubeko nina, middle class, nature museum. Kweza lali ni kala guzu. Benze i illegal connections. Zi disrupted the entire system. Ninga kwa zute etu ba indo deslo nchwa yo legle la. Hai, kumzo mkulu lo. Auko umzo mkulu nendo deslo nchwa yo eo pulu mtetu. Singa kwa zuba bold here, tadi decision ndo kwa whoever does that must face the consequences. Because when people revolt and react to a man's akapumi, aba itetile ndo bakukwa banda ba nzai illegal connections here in this community. But the point is, lapa kukwi mali almost five years now, ya fa kwa emgeen, because lenda o ila ulonga pemgeen. And we said it can't continue like that. We've got to rearrange that. That money should be given to our people here on their relocation and other things. It's leveling up, MG, water board. So it's important to think about land. So react to Guba, Ubona, Iamatola water, Ingena capacity. How do we build capacity? Yes, Iamatola water. Ibe ilendo ifnega yo. Ezo fana nezinye institution. So someone zebandui. So that's a debate. Ifnega si chongile singa treaty. Amanzi nomdwa. The Salga 2022 to 2027 strategic plan highlights the key challenges facing local government, the critical weakness and capabilities and capacity issues, and the failure of the local government administration to conduct their affairs and in line with MFMA. The Salga strategic plan provides deep insight and analysis on the critical failures in exercising good governance, the lack of accountability and poor leadership of politicians and administration. Sifunu Sevens is the administration to solve political problems. It's creating political anarchy for anarchists to thrive. Commas Pal, Siambe, Sio sacrifice a careers, Zabandu and Ababandu. 
Sithethe emvana phambi kuba xa uqasha uCFO oyithanda ta accountant kuko imithetho angena uzakwazi uyophula by virtue of being le professional sifuna ubenzisa izinto ezigqwetekileyo because ne political pressures zethu out of our own poor political planning i don't think it right the lack of financial controls to account for resources used and the significant burden of debt in many of our municipalities remains a challenge that results in poor service delivery, leading to high levels of community protests. I can share with you here now for you to know that between January and September of this year, SAPS recorded 273 service delivery protests in our province, which are largely local government related. This figure indicates that our people are not happy with how we serve them. Therefore, as leaders, you must find better ways of making local government agile to deliver quality services to the people. The term agile is common. We said we want to build a capable, developmental, um, agile, and ethical state. We have said so. On governance, there is a, is a slight decline on the number of municipalities adopting unfunded budgets in the province. But you must attend thoroughly to this non-compliance matter because our experience tells us that municipalities that adopt unfunded budgets have, a, have the tendency of overload to operating expenditure with items that are considered non-essential towards delivery of basic services. Our province is one of two provinces with the most improved in the most improvements in the audit outcomes for 2020-2021 uh, financial year in the country. Here is the PFMA. I want to get mayor no mayor can't do no one like that. Then then we end up with your kind of a. What is the auditor general? We first had a young guy. We we have a serious reputational damage. Part of the problem that people don't trust us, there is this uh, trust deficit. It's simply because So it's important, uh, colleagues, that we run our municipalities properly, not for you, for your own legacy, but for the development of our government and for servicing of our people. I'm quite happy that I've got feedback saying that I is a Pagui province. I hope that I won't be disappointed. Kulendo, Operation Clean Audit. Because, audit outcome is part of your key performance indicators. Sure. And cooking the legacy tendons in the consequent management. Yaw figure one put a wet in a dotted a phone basically one. I don't look like one. And then was born a wet. Coba, no bowens and don't if no way as a cabellus or pendle. A says creative culture as a change round. Won't go to go. Who's our target in the a clean audit? By end of this term, we've said so. Funegba, Ibe and Yes, BMB, need department that was not clean audit up Eastern Cape. That's why I'm calling in down, Salinana. There's our das. Tivile, a woman's palavan, you may be a service, only bending up away when you down, we sit, eh? Ben Bizum, old church and her premier at the Ambamba Yahoo. Because no investor program director is going to come into a municipality that doesn't show capability to account for public purse. Ubu ya kwa mese dispense na kwa force vahen. 
Abasebenzi bapha ba account for 99% ngempangelo. Nobuya kwa force vakhe ni similar thing. Para ba basebenzi basebenza pa bahlala edangeni village bahlala emdanzani bayafana baka hulumende. But ubuya ku hulumende only 52% yabasebenza baphangelayo. Uvile no bhala wesam. Avanga Only 52% abanye bakwi permanent sick leaves, abanye bakwi suspension ezingagqitywayo. He chaos. And you are paying those people, those who are at work, they are suffocated. There's overload. Abanye bakqeshiwe, abayazwa bakqeshelwe entoni, aba kumasipala. Abanye bakqeshwe lu frustrator kwa umuntu oqeshoyo aba kwa hulumen. Ubona ngokuthelana hayi lo, uqeshelwe uzo frustrate abantu kha, yonke into yawufika kweyama. See, and this COVID. Hey, Nam the ladies are in a local eye, paying your young adult, pain. Cuba. Cuba. In Atlantia, yes, sir. We could be in, the, in a much better position if, as leaders in the local government space, we could exercise proper oversight, as the AG has been advising. Provincial Treasurer and COGTA will continue to support municipalities during the audit process through participation in audit sharing committees and mediating audit disputes with AG. But we want you to come to the party in terms of implementing the recommendation of both Treasury and COGTA. The duplication that municipalities are doing in terms of having bloated organizational structures with high salaries and the increase in the use of consultant is not sustainable. Umkashanjani, UCFO, Utiklafnega Gwenzwe, annual financial statement, Ambayokashi consultant. How do you do that? How do how do you appoint um doctor um appointed in Magzak? No days got home man. That's not going to be annual financial statement. We are cash consultant. Kuku one body. Ah 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 ah. My comrade, I you. This is the test for the political and administrative leadership in local government to resolve. Kalaglondo. Set, set up systems. Wait, Langoti, um, but it's a good one. A single MEC up at a politician, a sale office, you never want to talk about full time. Fne, we as my politician, and a fundamental problem, the administration. Because when we found us a bandwin, Ube forty. Quinda or Yonke, about Tom Moing, well, Uben Woo. How do you go to office every day as May of Gutin? Fu wins and don't ba. Talk to full time. If I of Gutin, pa. Of work sassutin. That's why I was the M7 eight. Because I can't declare guys of M7 eleven. Oh, May. Talk to full time of Wenzan. And I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to because we are absent. We should be where people are. When you go to office, you must know if you're going to be able to do it. The office is going to be able to get the result. Then there's my part of um, monitoring and evaluation. Because if you're going to be able to manage it, you're going to be able to do it parallel manager yourself. Kunga sekenzo, ufuni meetings, after meetings, nabando yo famba baya sebenza, inga biku yi performance kumaspa. Na baba anda banda baku vote, le baya ufuni, amboka kisa, le IDP, paya bandui, nezi service delivery implementation plan. Are you going to be bold enough to do the right thing, or are you going to turn a blind eye on this un- Sustainable anomaly. Surely, surely, we can't be preaching 
to the converted. But always been as now shumela kwanda banga kukuki ngadi sekawi. Every Sunday, I'm a caller for a big takeaway. Umfundi sa kubega nentu maen. Ukukula ba bandi bati ba kukugil. Kabe puma benze the extreme opposite. No go maga shuma yele kuma call. It is us comrades who are going to turn around this situation. We are that generation that must discover its mission and we must fulfill it. Even MM, even MM, so by political proxy. You must be a professional. If you are CFO, you are CFO. When 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 you are CFO, Oh, Colleagues, irregular expenditure caused by unfounded, unfunded budget non-competitive bidding, inadequate contract management and SMS non-compliance can only indicate one or two things. One, plans or intention to swindle state resources. Two, create a conducive anarchic environment for anarchists to thrive. There, there is slight improvement on irregular expenditure from 2018, 2019 financial year, 28.3 billion to 27.7 billion in 2019-2022 and to 27.2 billion in 2020 and 2021 financial year. We need to see political will to deal with irregular expenditure and that is another test of leadership. Irregular expenditure must be regularized and there's a process. How do you keep it and live with it for five years being irregular? Let's say we're going to be out of issues, a disaster, and then don't do Why can't we follow the law, follow the process, and correct that? See, take a part with provincial administration. If fruitless and wasteful expenditure, those ones are, are actually an anathema. So, no, no. No, premi. Chaotic as he may be, if a cancellation is flight, travel agent premier's office has done that thing. We have recovered almost about uh, one million clear financial year. In fruitless. Again, the fruitless. wasteful. So that's culture. Colleagues, that we must do, all of us, where we are leading. Our ability to spend conditional grants is making it difficult for us to argue for more equitable share for municipalities. Remember that the equitable share mainly finances operations of municipalities, including our salaries, while the conditional grants that, are, that we are failing to spend are about development of our communities for the benefit of our people. The question I want to ask this assembly is, are we being prudent to call for more equitable share for municipalities when we have rollovers of conditional grants every financial year? Spending your infrastructure grant for what they are intended for on time within allocated budget will open opportunities for investment in your local, in, in your local municipalities. The small town revitalization program which is an intervention by the Office of the Premier, is already showing you positive results in that respect with many private sector companies investing in areas such as Libode, Kwapata, because there is now proper infrastructure. We recently held a successful provincial investment conference where 46.5 billion was pledged by the um, public and the private sector. I can tell you now that 
We receive those investments purely by the work of economic development agencies. I therefore want to discourage you, mayors, from going to the so-called international business trips because they tend to be tours with no real investment value to our municipalities. Close to a million. Zipi returns Zai. And the guy, he pesha, omnium de betigum. O Gritwanango, comrade, no musa dobe. O Kubogo Nulwa. Abbe say pesha when you check it as an anati up. Uzenzo, what can't say? Is our nitiku? Is our das? Make sure we use ECDC to assist us on this issue of tra trade and investment programs. Is all about the minister, where's the Mali? Payamata Tiel, said Tetilege, Gaz Brojo, Zbalu Lekleos, and when's up and as our investment. It's a serious investment. The IAS, but that's Puma Power Investment Conference. Spar. Uh, uh, so Dolob, the Vilu service of Alfred is on the other term as Mandelwang. Oba, in that level investment, he has a Buffalo City, and as Nelson Mandela. I come to be what fucking on do? I go was booze in the go. But as my list here, that's also Sandra ZP. Pay other term was in the SZ. Kuba got like a cool. Well, because SZ already the companies they've shown an interest to invest. We've got takeoffs of about two billion already. Umbuzo gongo fagendi zboza on ninda on kengo pa ni sonden. Is KSD ready as a host municipality? But bafun by met na angu nyata ngwa le senjish. Our municipalities should create conducive environment for investors in cities and towns by ensuring good infrastructure and designate areas for light and heavy industries, promoting security in towns to create safe environment for investors and speed up the appropriation of land for development and assist in relocating communities away from areas earmarked for development. speaker within no time and appropriate the land. Because that's how we are going to create jobs. You're not going to employ everyone in your area into your municipality. We can employ people if we create this conducive environment for investors to come. The more investors come, no bang will spa, no bang will shop right. I invest, ut kumum umadib, kukumdo owner or spa bang up madib, abai 13, abai eastern cape, ufunu vulom your spa, usogoli so mas pala, just for rezoning. And that's no one does the African agunika, ningo mayor, no MMC. And about the fig from here. You must begin to go back and ask penetrative questions. Ebonu zoto. Then be held by a kapa on wabile uneta yongo kozi mali ya ke equitable share ibalo apagu ipeswentlo ya kiswe kap. Angia. You see, ati kai figa apetom. Yeti ya lende li suge tomo ipege stata rem sawienza ni. I want to get my If budget is Eastern Cape, go and take that now. It's almost half of the budget. I say how thing. I order. I abanda ba say how thing. Even or more than that. I abanda ba suge Eastern Cape. I quit a pressure about S Y how thing. I want to get so strong. Do funu yenze. Glo tisa mbuya mbuya. Kulanda ushala go. Usige skunga kaka say kaka say ekta. Usfage puti nchle nas. Up until you understand, we have got a huge 
infrastructure backlog. You need rural development in its literal sense of word. Invest in infrastructure in rural areas. Ubusa kubanga le funding formula. Nani ni akala nusu kuhunye wuza hiliru. Nenga kizimba spete la hai sekone nenye. Aizu sisa ndao. We might be peripheral to the center, but we are the center of the periphery. Aba ban bakhlela khauti bafuni same services, but the budget as now your centers are services. As a parting short program director, let me urge all of you here to play your part in fighting the crime in your areas of jurisdiction. A crime is by indoor. Yama police, no MEC, no minister. I was going to go to the hospital, go to the crime. Hindoga mayor, Hindoga ward councillor, all of us, we must campaign against this problem. Your crime is in I. Uneng like a pie could be in so dolop was in all. Uneng like a pie a tough twin. Dolo, Ubu Dolo. Rabba Gajan, you see. Zong as now is a hot spot, a strong and enazo. Umuning like a so the lope was in Musa Hill. Embark on a campaign. My bang who obese or premier no ban ban. Nama police, what is in a awareness campaign, Sinale program. We walk away one of Nuba, Adume and I and many when I'm in the program your province. Can you pay danger? So Sineng like a crime. And it is playing negative. In the end, I can walk. I want to get cocoa, I want to have a cat to I. Come out with a pet is a palm is cool, as soon as Kelang up Eastern Cape, the Ivalang like we tear the upper, your crime on councillors and all that. But the corners in the fan and yan and go up Eastern Cape. Kube Konjaband and Guban. I was strong as long as companies is in as same trade to as cool as as part of a band. So I park on combat time. Is over Nins again go on an alapa good classic card. Sick card way. Quangabanda was a private companies from outside. And Funu would think I become a pulsa in court. You don't do Bauke ba bani wipe lulamb, bende busa ba ku 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 PC, mchana bi PC ba nde lulamb inga kifunuko yikupe kumtuo gani kulo premi, ebo nde lulamb ba ufiga naba kuku road blog ufiga bana banga nenga amapole sanga bus, uba zithag zese ziamba pa, uzautin, so let's close rank on this problem, your crime, and begin to look at the different angles in the goba ino ba inga geto. Uka kuli ndo unko dama polisi ya ekta. Aba bebe kote kwa zapa ingo bebe bula la bantu mchana zor. Naba kama sela naba ngaba bakhege zinazi bula la bantu ngaba kump upo bel. Eba ukhege zako shop right. Kwa ubuza kutoa zanzo suka ingo ubesi. Zitagi le pa ingo. Ebo amano uzang se ngo kunze mapa kia ngo pa. Kwa wa dealing with those issues. The point is let's work together. So in the recent gender-based violence summit, I was given a responsibility by delegates to call on Salga to ensure mayors must be gender-based violence champions in their municipalities. Site na pagu ikak. Ipelile landbagu tu nguguna uzabane ikak ubene district aids council yekwe. We're taking it down to uh, local uh, AIDS council, but Masio Enza, pa, we what is the two war rooms? Because see, problem, because see, conduit is in Tonga is in Tonga province. Crime, Ella, Kabando, and Abala, Bango, so Sababale, Babe, Kapa, Babu, Pay, Kapa, Sabana, Makreb. Could Lali Films and Gondwins have no other than was it drugs, no one don't know about Babu, Babale, Bamo Shepa, Bazo, Zimela, Apabasha, Abing, Lambda, and Okumas, the Lekod, Obula Band, Utul. So, Nezi for 
siyindawo yokuhlalela izifo because kulula aba bantu njengoba bekwi transit bengena bephuma apho sinalo problem but also koma sipala bini kanhlala phansi isikhala madiba kulento ye ye support ye small business it's only small business napha ku ndp ekuthwa sawukhetha ngama thobe msebenzi akuthwa sabaqesha kwenye indaba sabaqesha nge small business that's why ni na kutwa ni lo ni developmental local government. Na yeye kubwa local government ni developmental local government. So when you, when you look at it, more than 50 percent of our population benefit from this social security grant. Kaka, genyanga ape Eastern Cape kufawa 2.4 billion ku social development through sasa. Gonyanga i 30 billion. Gonyanga. That's why we figure pa e do you kunga ambik, kunga ambika pen pizan. Geza pay days. Those are millions, more than sixty million transactions are happening here. That's why your retail is flourishing. That's why your um, foreign nationals are setting up hardwares left, right, and center. City ninga londo. How do we regulate as a space? as local government. But we are with you, colleagues. We will definitely make sure that this time around, e province will never be the same. As all pinned as as we, guys, doesn't get that thing. Kanga, but se kunikum tam, onga zuka zukenya. Sasa, we end zanzima. Indo ba uchongo wako umlo umdo ba, ah, lendo bu me, kani, kani, nini gom yumtu. Sa, sa, wenzu uchu. Kang and yas by Indo and Talebu me. So the Sibuga and Dengue you. Fneguyas Fneguyas Manga Kukulike was nine Fnufu to Maraman Talepas. Maspind, Maspind, Maspind. Sbule le premier. I think umdonge vanga. Apa kuti ma cancel. Agana ba pindef. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Premier. If you look, uh, just open your agenda. Uh, after the uh, Premier, best fan basi break in ASEI. No, this is okay. We are going to take uh, MEC Cocta. On the thing we set up in terms of program. Um, in February, I mean, in November last year, the defunguis were as councillors. Senate didn't know. No, no, masi, masi, ni kui 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 presentation ni landa la because a lunch is about rating get casualties. Can we start, uh, can, we take, can, can we take the next item? Over to you, MEC Cocta. I see the Tata E. I. T. M. L. And you are seeing breaking, please. Uh, over to you, MEC Williams. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Program Director and Honorable Speaker and the Deputy Chairperson of SALGA. Honorable Minister of Finance, Matiba, 
Honorable Premier, Honorable President of Salga, Honorable Chairperson, members of the National Executive Committee of Salga, Abandona Bekazi as led by Uchepesin of the House, Utata Ukonjwayo. Honorable Councillors, the CEO or acting CEO and all the members who are part of this important occasion. Sorry, Abusi. Sorry, God, Can I, can I uh, call upon those who are going to uh, discuss? Uh, Professor Ndejana, come in front. Uh, Mr. Lance Joel, come in front. Uh, Councillor Sotashe, come, come forward. Yeah, those are the three. Hold on, let me continue. Thank you very much, uh, Program Director. And greetings to Prof and the colleagues. The, the PEC has requested that I present this paper on coalition government and their impact in democracy and sustainable delivery of services. We are 28 years into the creation of a post-apartheid social order and its attendant state for the past three decades we have strived to build a state with systems, institutions, and spheres of administrations that were anchored on the principles of democratic participation. Democratic representation and a substantive pursuit of social justice, equality, and redistribution. Our democratic perspective holds that we measure the success of the post-apartheid social project by the extent to which it meaningfully breaks the systematic exclusion from social, economic, and political transformation. Substantively speaking, the victory of the Democratic Transformation Project must be gauged by the degree to which the historically oppressed people, being blacks in general and Africans in particular, especially women, are gradually placed on a platform of increasing social and economic development at the individual and household level. The foundational principles of the post-1994 local government were best articulated in the 1998 White Paper on Local Government. Those principles must be the de facto point of departure in assessing the extent to which we have made progressive strides in transforming local government. 
I will briefly list four strategic principles of local government transformation as outlined in the white paper as follows. One of those principles was maximizing social development and economic growth, integrating and coordinating, democratizing development, leading and learning. In the context of today's discussion, these four principles constitutes the substance of what a thoroughgoing transformation of local government ought to be understood as. These principles are of particular significance for the Eastern Cape. Historically, the Eastern Cape served primarily as a labor reservoir of the South African economy in terms of our own political geography. This meant that levels of industrial investment and therefore economic development were systematically kept low to serve this geopolitical purpose of being a productive labor, labor reserve site. Central to this was keeping low levels of education. Those who lived in the Eastern Cape would remember that there was a law that was introduced, um, which law prescribed that all the rural communities must cull their animals, re reduce livestock. Uh, um, Gov used to talk about that law um, consistently in his political education classes. That law was called the Glen Gray Act, which forced all rural communities in fact, Womgov's family was directly affected at Petutua. They had to cull and be left with fewer animals. And that forced them out of the rural life. They had to leave their own families and be forced to go in Gauteng and work in the mines. Because without the reduction of their own livestock, they would be self-sustainable in, in the rural communities. So the intention of the apartheid state was to actually push this agenda of driving them out of the rural life. Central to this, was to keep low levels of education, low infrastructure investment, cyclical migrant labor system, and low levels of manufacturing capabilities, which the Premier was talking about. And now we are trying to reinvest back, uh, trying to, to crowd in investments into the Eastern Cape. And these were strategically made deliberately. That's why we're starting afresh as a province in terms of positioning ourselves um, properly as a center of investment. Although we're a coastal province, you'll find out that we're supposed to be where economy is actually very high in terms of economic development. But the structural arrangement of South Africa is such that the economy is more vibrant in inland instead of coastal cities, which is some change of the normal nature of how economics work. 
This has, me this has meant that the Eastern Cape marched into 1994 local government dispensation with serious development backlogs. This plenary can discuss and have critical views on whether, regardless of that backlog, we have done enough or at least pursued truly strategic choices in rolling back that development backlog. Now the challenge facing us is that funds are allocated and we've got these historical backlogs that are confronting us. And because of our incapacity to spend, then money gets returned back to national fiscus. And therefore, it does not respond, actually, to these backlogs that are confronting us as a province. And whoever then is leading local government needs to begin to think deep and thoroughly about how do we change our attitude so that we quickly ensure that we spend resources that are, that are allocated for us to take this province forward. What is without question, however, is that our local government sphere in the Eastern Cape is beset by heavy developmental challenges and is still struggling to demonstrate institutional capabilities for viability and resilience as contemplated in the 1998 White Paper. Accordingly, the sustainability of municipalities and their resilience must be understood primarily in the context of how best they effectively promote social and economic development, integrate and promote local economic development and service provision. Public participation in development, planning, and most importantly, demonstrate a a culture of learning and performance improvement. This is what should be the minimum program of a model municipality in the Eastern Cape. And with increased local development will come real increases in household income. And therefore a growing base for potential rate, rate payers. Naturally, that expansion of their rate payer base would mean an expanded revenue base of local municipalities to finance their budgets for service delivery and our provincial infrastructure build program. As earlier mentioned, all these strides for the creation of a sustainable and resilient local government are taking place within a context of an evolving institutional and political setting in our country. And the most significant evolution of this feature in the current period is the emergence of coalition governments as a product of narrowing electoral margins between those who were known as majority parties and those who were minority parties. The electoral margin is reducing dramatically. Whilst in some quarters, narrowing electoral margins are lauded as a sign of democratic consolidation and the end of one party dominance, a critical examination of the situation demonstrate an opposite picture. And this is our question that we need to deal with. Because some amongst us are saying a maturing democracy is resulting to a situation where majority parties are being voted lesser and opposition or minority parties are gaining uh, votes However, when the time comes for government to be formed, the challenge comes where no party has reached more than 50%. And then we have now to think about coalition governments.
In recent years, South Africa's local government sphere has experienced a rising number of coalition governments, in especially the highly contested metropolitan municipalities. This trend has emerged with little developments in institutional mechanisms or even political culture to hold together desperate political interests when brought together into one government. I think we were arguing with Ubudvu uh, Yomvoko uh, about this concept that once parties get into government, in the South African context, there's no legal framework that regulates coalition governments. And the weakness of our system currently, which is unregulated, is such that even smaller minority parties can invite majority parties to form a coalition. But in the international context, it's only the dominantly elected party that has a right to invite smaller parties to form government. And those, those smaller parties take mandate from the majority party. But currently in South Africa, everyone can organize a coalition leading to major consequences in terms of institutional integrity, in terms of compliance with laws and regulations, and the subversion of democracy at the altar of a maturing democracy. Maturing democracy. You'll find that smaller parties that were not voted for are in government, leaving everyone who has voted more dominantly outside government. Now we need to balance between the two, and our debate is to actually try to get answers onto these questions so that we can direct Salga into what are we gonna do, uh, probably going to the NGO conference, don't we need an immediate legal framework to regulate coalitions uh, moving forward? But I've, I will leave that for uh, the panel uh, and the, the whole um, uh, conference to engage. Consequently, we have seen what has now become common cause that these coalition governments last for very short periods of time before they collapse. Those who come from the Nelson Mandela Metro will agree with us that after, after uh, the new coalition was formed, it has become very difficult to even call council meetings. Then instability is creeping into this uh, area and then government cannot deliver services to the communities. A rally of votes of no confidence and a back and forth of stalemates where sometimes municipalities go for weeks without a government in office. These have become a common feature of South African coalition politics. Imagine if in 2024 you'd have this, this situation, if there may be that possibility to have a national government that cannot sit because of coalition difficulties and politics and lack of a legal framework to regulate this process and how democracy gets subverted in the process of these coalitions. But what exactly is the underlying cause of this instability? The real underlying cause may be found in the very definition of a coalition government. A coalition government refers 
to a government composed of more than one political party. It, is usually, it usually arises when no single party gets an outright majority of 51% in an election to form its own government. This is commonly associated with political systems with a proportional electoral framework. The idea behind coalitions is that of compromise if ever there is that thing in coalitions. Because they compromise whilst they are engaged in a discussion. But once the period of governing comes, they are in office, then they forget about compromise. Then there's difficulty in running the state. Political parties are expected to compromise on their fundamental ideological positions, including the possibility of working with parties with whom they are ideologically at odds, which is my fundamental issue with coalitions. South African context, democratic alliance, economic freedom fighters two opposed very opposed parties however uh, Dr. Andrejana will tell us that in political science the extremes have a possibility of convergence at a certain point now these two would converge to push the ANC out of power, but in the process of delivering services, ideological orientations arise. And therefore, the EFF's way of looking at who services must be delivered to is informed by their world outlook in terms of their ideology same way as the Democratic Alliance. So it is doomed to be in a crisis. That coalition is doomed to be in a crisis. Let alone that there will be four parties with different ideological orientations, then the problem becomes worse. And that is what we're currently confronting uh, in the South African local government context. It is a common feature of coalition governments to hit a deadlock over crucial policy matters and policy choices in times of crisis. This usually leads to a stalemate and some parties pulling out of the agreement and therefore rendering that government to collapse. Because coalition government's problem is that even the agreement that is being signed is not worth the paper written on it. It is not legally enforceable. It's a gentleman's agreement at the expense of the communities. And that is what we're trying to bring to say, how do we then engage these difficult questions so that we can be able to have and find some solutions to these. It is not in the interest of any country to regularly spring from one coalition government to another. This compromises public services, as it has. In Nelson Mandela, only 24 houses were built between these coalitions in five years, 24. And now the impact of an unstable government to community services and service delivery is too much, is grave. And therefore, running them this way may not help. Con it constrains long-term planning in the interest of national development and puts at risk the interest of the majority when minority interests are used as a threat to constrain coalition governments from taking decisions. 
you easily have a tyranny of man minority parties where they basically turn the table on larger parties. One, one, one person parties, they dictate to an ANC that has got 48 councillors. And they say, if you don't take our position, we're not with you, we're joining the others. So they have dictatorship to the whole, to all the bigger brothers in the coalition system. And that's what you find in minority parties. And they would want biggest deployments. They want to manage infrastructure departments. Uh, they want to manage uh, the budget department. Uh, all the bigger. Now, the ANC or the DA with its majority will have to accept we will give you the infrastructure budget. We'll... Now, the voters for those parties end up managing uh, corporate services. And, and all the other departments that do not make positive impact immediately to the communities. Therefore, coalition governments are a complex political reality that poses serious questions for us. They challenge the institutional mechanisms we have in place to safeguard service delivery. And what should be a thorough going transformation of local government. Ibu yisela umva. Babes nge matota sotwa apa bendi za uteta kakule. Lendwe kwa alijin ibu yisumva. Indwe befanel ba ipeka pambili. It's a problem. Ibu yisela umva yi transformation. Because if you look at Nelson Mandela, uh, there are a lot of challenges pa. This is mostly imagine, imagine. This is mostly because the very concept of transformation is not commonly agreed on and is defined variously depending on ideological principles that shape the reasoning of each political party. I'm almost finished. Unless serious institutional reforms are made, including a possible imposition of Section 12 currently, in the current context. Wherever there is no clear majority to form a government, we are likely going to live with serious threats of instability that threaten the very mandate of local government and the provision of services. These are just, just broad remarks on issues I was asked to raise here for the panelists to ventilate. I hope I have done justice in trying to frame this discussion and in trying to highlight the main strategic issues for consideration under each of these themes. Thank you very much, Program Director. That's where I would stop. Thank you very much, uh, MC Williams. Uh, we are trying to manage time. Lunch is at two. Uh, then Mvuyamvoko is going to moderate the, the session or this part of the session. Uh, he will see how he manages time up, up to two o'clock. Over to you. Uh, thank you, thank you, Brother Humphrey. Um, oh, man, kala ngubuli sa ngokeli zonge zonyula ngabantu across all the spheres of government, business leaders, 
is Patamanda, the Salga, Nagoma Spala, is Twala and Dues, Dwangube, Ngundi, now Wonget, the Huana Bandwa Koyo up and Shangam, do all protocol observed. It's a singular honor for me to be a uh, part of this discussion. Uh, I'm a rate payer by Nelson Mandela. Omnia uh, Maspala Babini, Quel Pondo, Bakulu, Besiti, Matiba, Gulapo, Guko, is situations. Nalapo, Premier Beskumbuza, Bala, coalition government has not worked from the day Yanulo. Nalapo, MSC, Ebez, Boutri, Lakuyongu, tyranny of minority parties, threats of instability. Um, and how the agreements between the parties are not are probably not worth the papers that they are written on. topic it navigating the inherent complexities of our evolving democracy, coalition governance and its impact on the thoroughgoing local government transformation. Ajule City working cooperatively to curve a maximum minimum rather program towards municipal institutional resilience, viability, and essential building blocks towards a model municipality in the Eastern Cape. Nanjangogu Emisiewe Sicho is in door as a threat nishwa ile arrangement omaspala abaninzi abas fumanea sarbe kuyo omaspala babini banditike pofloa seminar simandala enguyena uh, affect Wagakulu, Hilendo. Um, I'm going to call upon my uh, guests, many of whom, or in fact all of whom, have become or were part of programs that I've done or have been doing over the past year um, on this very same issue. Professor Andrejana has been a regular. Lance Joel has been my go-to guy whenever I get stuck. And so has uh, Councillor Sotashe, whom I've had, had to ask to persuade some of his colleagues to come and explain these things to me. And a year later, I'm still none the wiser. <laughs> well, hopefully, um, this discussion will illuminate all of us, but more importantly, perhaps, um, really move you uh, members of Salga to really deal with this question, hopefully, once and for all. First up, Professor Andrejana, if I may ask you to say a few words on the back of what MSC Besnige Vulandela, on the back of what he had to say, your comments, please. Thank you, Mvi. Uh, you know, when you don't get a paper before you get to discuss it, then you must know that's a kind of a pre preemptive strike to undercut, to undercut your response. <laughs> but nonetheless, a few remarks. Uh, I think generally, yes, it's quite true that one person parties tend to be extremely Disruptive, uh, because they sneak into power with 800 votes, 900 votes. So, so then what they do is to hop around looking for a biggest offer from anybody, and they hop into whatever arrangement there is, and they, uh, they prioritize uh, patronage. Um, to them, that's the key thing, that's the key priority. Make as much money as possible whilst you're still there because you don't know if you will come back. So that's the one thing. Um, secondly, you do need to, it also has to do with the kind of parties that you have. I mean, some of these parties are new. They don't have a tradition of working together. So they don't follow rules. They. Um, they do as they please, so they can have some kind of an arrangement, you know. This is the deal that we are going to be guided by, um, but as soon as one of them a, acts badly, there isn't a party hierarchy to rein in that person. 
um, because they have no sense of hierarchy, there are no rules, bacha, you know. Uh, two proposals from me would be, one, I agree with the threshold that has been proposed by the DA actually. Ogba, at least a party to be part of government should have more than two or above percent. So that at least that party, you know, it would most likely have about three or so seats. And a party that has a potential for growth tends to behave a lot better than one without any prospect of growth because they want to impress, right? Um, so that would be the one proposal. And the second one maybe is, yeah, maybe I should add another and make it three proposal. Um, is to have, and we've been discussing this actually uh, in PE, that you must consider having an XCOM model. Your three biggest party EPI, for instance, would form that government. And they are, when they are forced to work together, obviously, there's a, there's a much bigger obligation to do things properly. Um, all of them are big, and all of them will be held directly responsible for whatever does not get done. So there is more propensity to do things better uh, in that XCOM model. And lastly, and this thing is already in law, by the way, the Mandamas principle. If councillors class a meeting, you can apply to court. Kuchikola mnyango. Bashalepa, baikwebela meeting. Banga poo. There is that thing. It's called, it's called Mandamas principle. And it's not being applied for some reason. So, so you need to have that. But the very last V, the very last point, and this thing was triggered by what, uh, uh, by what the Premier said earlier, and it's somewhat not related to this in a way, is that we need to pay more attention to the caliber of councillors we have. Um, you look at applications for, you know, business, rezoning, for instance. Those things are never processed on time. Because you have councillors, there's this thing about capitalism. There's this thing, Yogba. They don't have a sense of a, of, of a municipality as the kind of instrument you need to create a viable economy. They don't have that sense. And there's this anti-business. This lack of appreciation that business creates jobs, jobs for your own supporters. So there's this anti-business, weird and absurd anti-capitalism sentiment. So, so we need to change that mindset um, and, and get rid of this old type thinking, Councillor Zenu Z. You need, you, need, you need to go there. Education is very important in leadership. You must have people who are able to appreciate the ABCs of governance. That was my last point. Lance. Well, well thank you very much, uh, Vuyo, and, and, and greetings to, to everyone. And, and let me try and, and make my inputs uh, quickly. Because Prof started to be solution driven, let me let me also embark on that approach. There are four things that could happen. Four. Some of them were mentioned. I will I will start with well I will end with the most unpopular one. And and the first three are are known uh, because we have been talking about them as Salga. The, the, the first one is there's the option for political parties to go to the Salga collision framework and follow it to the T. And many of the current challenges will not find expression because the don'ts and the, and the do's are outlined there and for some reason they chose the don'ts. Uh, so we said, don't venture into this space, it's exactly where they went. So, so the first option, the Salga Collisions Framework is solution-driven, will assist political parties 
in creating firstly lasting um, collisions through through proper negotiations of um, uh, collision agreements and secondly uh, parties will be able to sustain those collisions uh, based on the advice that is given or guidance that is given in the framework. So, so that's the first option. The, the second option, which is a long-term option, and we are, uh, I'm sure all of us are aware of how long it takes to come up with a piece of legislation. It took Parliament four years to amend the Systems Act, which is really... 80% uh, a replica of a 2011 act, but it took four years. So the legislative route is an option, and the legislative route could do a number of things as we started talking about those. Uh, one of the things that could be done, Prof. Uh, Vuyo, is we, we remove the excitement of vo vote of, of motion of no confidence but we remove it for a period. So we say, uh, what is the best time in the municipal planning cycle to introduce chaos? Is there ever such a time? But yes, if you look carefully at the calendar, you say between, March, between January and March, you are limited to bringing motions of no confidence. So for three months, there's chaos. For nine months, we are working. So an IDP would have been developed, approved, and would have been given effect to until we get to January. So not every single council meeting is subjected to this fashionable idea.